This isn't even working. This, this isn't working this time. Oh, oh, it's like a weird. It's like thing. a weird can thing. I just, cut, can back I just cut back to this. Transition. Transition. How about now? How about now? How about now? How about now? Take two. Take two. Is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Echo? Echo? Son of a gun. Son of a gun. I completely I completely unplugged, unplugged the Elgato. The Elgato. It's gotta be because... It's gotta be because... How, oh, there we go. It, now it only has two sources going. Is the Echo gone? No Echo anymore. There's no echo anymore. I got rid of it, right? I got rid of it, right? Guys. I have a... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I can't even do this anymore, guys. I just... I, I feel like the delay is back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What kind of a delay is there? What kind of a delay is there? Hold on. How about now? Is it better now? For the love of all that is good, is it better now? Is it better now? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Should we just end the stream here? Should we just call it a success? Because I'm... I'm... I'm out of it now. I'm just... I'm tired. Jesse, you know... You guys are... Ah, man. You know what, Argus? I need an edible myself right now. Holy moly. I mean, John, you missed so much. You missed so much, John. None of it was valuable. None of it was good. But you missed a lot. You missed so much. Oh, my goodness. Who eats chips with a fork? Obviously, you've never played video games or computer games and not wanted to get chip dust all over stuff. Mmm. Mmm. You know what, Adam Tease? I'm with you. Jesse should have taught all this stuff by now. Get Amber to sit with you. It's going to relax you. You'd think it would, but man, I just. I just, uh. I stressed myself out. Damp paper towel. That's valuable. What is that bright light behind you? It's the ceiling light. Jesse, I don't know what I'm doing, and you have to get over that. That's the whole point. You're, you're coming down this week. That's why you're coming down, is because I don't know what I'm doing. You should know that by now. Hmm... You know what, John? I actually like to eat with chopsticks. I've got some metal ones from my outlery kit. What are you doing, babe? He's going to be annoyed that there's not enough light. Are you going to do the flip? See, I, I don't know if that fixes it for him. He's particular. He's, he's a complainer, Amber. I mean, you can keep it like that. We can get some mood lighting in here. <laughs> what? Why did you say that? I would never do that. Oh my goodness. No, see, he just said, no, don't do that. See? Yeah, Jesse said, no, don't do that. I told you. Can I move the ceiling light? Did you just ask if I can move the ceiling light? I mean, I could like stand up to where it blocks it. See? There we go. See? Hey guys, I'm Devin Talks Tabletop. How's it going? <laughs> uh, 
So anyways, there is there is no wall in front of me, Jesse. There is a window, and the window has curtains, and the curtains are blocked directly in front of me by the midway holder of the curtain. I'm tired. I just, oh my gosh, I can't deal with this. Add an LED light. Sure, Jesse, let me pull an LED light out of my ass, okay? Oh my gosh, I just can't. I can't deal with this right now. I can't deal with this. Jesse, go away. Go away. Drive down here and go away. That's all I want right now. Stack a bunch of games up right to the light behind it. You know what, Steven? I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you on that, Steven. I think that's valid. I think that's valid. Let's see. Off-site, the backlit. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. At this point, this is just tech support for Devin. The entire stream is just tech support for Devin. You really like the door to my left. That is a barn door for my TV. I'll show you. So I've got games here. I've got games here. And here, I've got... I've got to be quiet because the baby's sleeping. TV, which has got my PS4, my Xbox One, and my Nintendo Switch, because I have problems. Hopefully that didn't wake up the baby. Oh. Let me see. Last time you showed was a guy that had to leave to take my girl. I'm glad that they, she had a good surgery, Anthony. I'm so thankful that that went well. Um, hi, Devin. How's it going? Um, it's going good, Ben. You were on the other stream, Ben. Thanks for being there, you know, when I started. I didn't really start, though. That was a massive failure at attempting to start. What do I do for a living? I do freelance writing and board game stuff. And my wife is a medical physician, family medicine physician. I like the rustic look. Thanks a lot, Czar. Can we go back to the chips, please? Yeah, no problem. Got some classic Doritos here. Let's talk about booze. Uh, how we could all use some right now. Steven, I'm working with... We have this cocktail craft book from Death & Co., which is a really nice like bar. And they do like three two or three spirit combos so i've got some cognac in here with some bourbon and then some grapefruit juice some lemon juice some simple syrup it's quite good nick i'm drinking nothing but marvel united if you wake up our baby we will have issues amber you're so supportive i love you <laughs> nick nick's happy you're here Mm, 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 mm. What type of writing do you do? I do freelance writing for board game stuff if they'll have me. I did the lore book for Veiled Fate. I've done some Kickstarter video scripts. Um, yes, the wife is getting that bread, Keegan. She's much more of an adult than I am, 100%. Classic as in Cool Ranch. Mm, get Cool Ranch out of here, man. Just classic nacho cheese red Doritos. Cool Ranch is... Okay, I have soured on Cool Ranch since middle school. Mm -hmm -hmm. Luxardo cherries in that bowl of chips, 100%. Giant face on my TV and commenting on my iPad. <laughs> Thanks, James. I'm happy that that's how it's going for you. I have a logo profile pic now. My friend drew it for me as a going away present. Yeah, you haven't kind of changed, Ben. That's true, because it used to be like a, a realistic, like a normal photo of you. Uh, you need wood panel lining, more orange light. Jesse Old Fashioned is the way to go. Yeah, but what kind of anarchist eats Doritos with a fork? I'll take a double of that. Are you a heavy pour? I'm always a heavy pour. I pretty much start with doubles. Did you get Marvel United? I have Marvel United's base copy, the X-Men base copy, and the Spider-Man expansion because I got it from Amazon. I tortured two friends fumbling through a game of Dungeon Generous today. I think they have PST. I've heard good things about that. I haven't played it, though. Thank you. Have a great night. I'll step in occasionally when I have to give her medication. Have a great shame. Thanks so much, Anthony. I hope you have a great night. 
How did you get into the writing? I have a master's of fine art degree in creative writing. I did that after my undergraduate degree because I really love writing and I love creating stories. And so I did that for my master's and I've been doing writing, either creative or professional writing for most of my life. Spicy Sweet Chili, I ha you ever been to Colorado? That sounds like a very targeted comment from somebody who also asked about Pueblo. Devin and Quaglobe on the Quagglobe channel. Okay, there's a scammer. Comment that you say you want to then sell the can. Okay, yeah, Juan, we are trying to. I've gone through and deleted about thirty to forty scam comments today. I'll we're we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, sweet and spicy chili Doritos are the new king. I've never wanted to get a second subscriber channel than hearing your. Dur <laughs> Thanks so much, Brian. Next stream, eating Doritos with a spoon for double the cast. That would be so interesting and difficult. Thoughts on Nemesis? The Quack Boys don't really like it. I actually, uh, I've got a key for the Nemesis Lockdown Steam game, so I need to play that so that I can comment on it. You might as well dr rim the drink with Dorito dust. Two birds, one stone. Delicious, Nick. Marvel United. You need to get Marvel Crisis Protocol. I know, I know. Uh, Nathan Beyond Jail is someone who... Devin's an extra heavy, heavy pour. Ask him about adding an MJ tincture. Thanks so much, Amber. I don't know what you're talking about. I enjoy watching Devin Dragons and Final Trail. You're doing well. I'm almost talking as quickly as Alex. I can talk as quickly as Alex. And Jesse, you could be a writer if you, if you wrote. Uh, my sister did her master's in creative writing too. James, um, awesome commenting from your iPad. I hope my face isn't too ugly up on your TV. At the University College of Dublin, I am jealous. I would love to go through Ireland. When I lived in England, going to Ireland was more expensive than going on the channel or taking a flight to France because it was pre-Euro. So Ireland was always insanely expensive. So I never really got to go to Ireland. I wish I could have traveled there. What did you get on the ACT? I got a 32 on the ACT. Thank you very much, fucking Carolyn. Um, got a 32 on the ACT. So up on you. So Jesse needs to teach you to tech, and you need to teach him to talk more gooder. I can talk so gooder, Adam. It's not even funny. We have been shutting down so many scammers. That's true. Jesse and I have Jesse and I have honestly been trying to shut down a lot of scammers. So uh, yeah, don't talk to anybody in the comments because it's uh, unless it's obviously us. But if it's someone saying you won, it's not us. Mmm. Kilinor, that four-hour video was my favorite thing I have filmed with Jesse. So thank you so much for watching it. That was honestly my favorite video I've done with him. Those scam comments are getting out of control. I agree with you, Ben. I hear you could write a book, Jesse. Not sure Shira agrees. <laughs> yeah, probably Shira would. Shira wouldn't give him the credit for him being able to do that right now. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe you should get together with Jesse. He's aspiring according to new videos. Just guess he can. Yeah, Jesse has some interesting spelling options that he goes through. Ooh, I know you and everyone are just trying their best. Just letting people know. Thanks a lot, Juan. Appreciate it. I got to get a nap in. Have a great stream. Jenks, hey, have a good one. Appreciate you reaching out the last time. Hope you have a good nap. Naps are important, ever more so. And I was never a napper until we had kids. Now I am fully behind the nap life. I prefer the scammers who call. They are easy to mess with. That's true. If he is, is, I'm not skipping your comments, Jesse. You are so insecure. Oh, gosh, where am I now? This, these streams have enough chaotic... You know what? I'm all about the chaos. Da, 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 da. But would anyone want to read his book? I don't know. I think Jesse could do something. I was sitting here by Jesse. I was told there would be booze. There is booze. I'm drinking booze right now, and there will probably be more of it before this live stream's over. There's probably going to be plenty of it. Quack, if you would read my book. How dare you, Jesse? No, I'm, I'm going to have to go through so many quacks. If you guys wrote novels, I would try to read them. I would also try to read you. Uh, Quackalope and Board Game Co. are going to the World Series of Board Gaming. Um, I'm not. I was not invited to that, and I don't know if I even have the time to go to it. Drunk slaps are the best slaps. If you skip me again, I'm making you get the baby. Is the baby awake? Oh, oh dear. Jesse, did you get yourself banned again? Jesse wasn't banned. I didn't ban him. Oh, I had a better ACT. Uh, bullshit. Bullshit, Jesse. You had a 33 to a 36? Okay, bring it on. Bring it on. 
Ireland was so amazing. Spent a month there during my undergrad. Very, very jealous. Good day. Jules, all the way over from Australia. Jules, show me some more pictures of the minis that you've painted because they're awesome and I'm jealous and you're cool. I I want to hang out with the BB bar, the board game barbecue crew. I want to hang out with all of you. I need to fly to Australia at some point. Need a highly trained hamster to block that light while bragging about the Masters and ACT score. You know what? You know what? Okay. Carolyn, you are the one who asked about that, so don't even. I will be at the World Series of Board Gaming. Yes, he will. You could get a bonus of Marvel United, but yep, you know what? I have so much Marvel United that I only answer about Marvel United in the form of Marvel United. You're breaking the rule about happy wives. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Amber, Amber loves me. I know that at the end of the day, it may seem like I'm not that cool of a guy. I'm a good husband. I'm a good husband. If I give myself props on anything, I'm a good husband. We need Amber on the live stream with you instead of in the chat. Johnny, Amber is only moderately cooler than me, mostly cooler than me. It would be so boring. Um, I just want to drop in and say have a good night. Hey, Ben, hey, have a good night. Hope you have a good one, man. I better see you at WSBG, Jesse. and Kevin, I, I, I won't be there. Jesse will be there. I will not be there. I'm um, going to be playing Wingspan. Oh, man, representing the duck strategy. Get to sleep where you can. 100% on the nap life. Where do you start with reading Sanderson? I started with the Stormlight Archives. I started with Way of Kings. I think it's completely fine, but it also depends on the kind of reader you are. If you're someone who's not used to high fantasy, it's a very dense book that will take you 500 pages to get to the 300 pages that you want to read. That's a bad way of saying it. It's really, really, really good. Um, hey, Bo Combs, I'm so glad you enjoyed that video. I really had a good time doing that with Jesse. It was seriously my favorite thing I've done with them. I did not back Deep Rock Galactic, the board game. I have played the video game with my friends, like brother and friends, and I enjoyed it quite a bit, but I did not back the board game because I didn't think I would ever get it played. Uh, you learn to sleep anywhere, anytime after having kids. Amber's really good about sleeping anywhere, anytime. I, I need like to lay down. I need it to be quiet. I need it to be dark. I'm not very good at it. Uh, I was never a napper until college. College, I didn't really nap. I just slept a long time outside of normal stuff. Oh my goodness, it just jumped. It just jumped. Oh, where did it go to? There we go. I have not picked the winners yet. I need to pick the winners. I should do that. I should pick the winners right now. I'm never going to catch up to the chat if I pick the winners, but... It's a Reggie. The Reggie the Hamster. Okay, picking the winners. I need to go over to what's the pick a comment thing? YouTube comment picker. YouTube random comment picker. Okay, I need to. I need to enter the video. Oh, I gotta find my own video. I'm not even good at this, guys. I gotta find my own video. Uh, let's go to my channel. That, that's a good start. Let's go to videos. Let's go to... I need to thank you so we can go ahead and copy that link address. Boop. Raffle options uh, include... How do I... How do I pick? How do I pick that? That's not what I want. I want something that will pick a comment. Oop. Fetch that. Select a filter. Keyword filter. There we go. So here's what I did, guys. I went through almost every single comment on that video. And for the U.S. people, nobody misspelled the word problems. Everybody spelled problems correctly. So that's my keyword. For the outside the US one, everybody spelled the word yard correctly. So that's my keyword for that one. So let's do inside the US problems. Choose go. Loading so many comments. My goodness, this is a lot of comments. Over 600, over over 800. Oh, it's probably doing all of the comments in the video. 
It's probably doing all of them. Loaded 586 at 87 comments, so you know, like half of them ish, or maybe over half. Pick a winner. May Quatch. May Quatch. May Quatch. You're the winner for the U US one. She said, I've got 99 problems, but an inch ain't one of them. Thank you for the great content. I need to write that down. I need to write that down. May quatch. Oh, hey, there's the rules for Feast of Odin. All right, so May. What is, oh my gosh, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? I messed something up? What about now? No, but what about now? Is it working now? I'm, I'm saying stuff. Can you not hear me right now? You, I hate you right now. I hate you so much. I am, I am going to, I'm going to hang up. I'm going to hang up right now. Jesse, don't do this to me. Jesse, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to ban you on the chat. I'm going to ban you on the chat. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Can you hear me telling you that I'm going to ban you? Well, Alex. What? what? I, he's the worst, man. I was, I'm, I'm in the middle of picking winners, and he tells me the audio is messed up, man. He's lying to you. I miss you. I miss you too, though. He's he's terrible to me. Hey, I want you to know who my friend is. This is my friend. This is my friend. Yeah. This is my friend. The other guy, I don't like him. He's a bad duck. I gotta pick the I gotta pick the non US winner now that I know the audio is not messing up. I love you, boo boo. Bye bye, boo boo. I don't even like the duck anymore. I don't even like the duck anymore. I know I didn't forget I'm streaming. I know I'm still here. Oh my gosh. Okay, where was I? YouTube comment picker. It's like the the boss Nass guy from <laughs> Um, you t I gotta find my own thing now. I gotta find my own thing now. I can't, I know you're there. I just can't even look at the comments yet because Jesse messed me up. Jesse messed me up. All right, copy this link. Paste that here. Fetch the video. Keyword filter. Yard. Continue. Fetching all of the comments. May Quatch is the U.S. winner. Okay, 390 comments from people outside of the U.S. Pick a winner, Vero M. She said, my meters bring all the board games to the yard. Keep up the good work and love your Get Sensual vlog. Thanks for doing this. So Vero M, non-U.S. or outside the U.S. Those are the two winners, guys. Okay, I can get back to work now. Now that I know that, where's Jesse? Where's Jesse? Jesse, where where is he? I'm going to. Ah, uh, where is he? I don't even know where I was in the comments anymore because Jesse messed me up. I'm going to go all the way back just to just to bother him, just to bother him. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I gotta go all the way back. I gotta go all the way back. 
Oh, I got to go all the way back. I, gotta, I can't go. It's so far back. It's Oh, no, 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 no. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. I, I'm not catching up, but I found where I was. We didn't show up for a sober stream. Nick, Marvel United. Love the deck strat. Naps are awesome. I agree with you. I have to get this guy established first. Jesse, you lied to me. I have just picked winners, Jim, but obviously you know that now. Devin, on a lighter question, any current video game you're playing? I'm playing Horizon Forbidden West. I'm playing Six Siege pretty frequently, like just as a multiplayer game. And I need to start playing the early access version of Nemesis Law. It's fantastic. Jesse and I should do that. Congrats. Have a great life. I needed this act. Scott, hey, hey, have a good night. Good bit of that. Huh? In the beginning, it was a board game. That was all you needed to know. But Australia is a great place to be. Kilinor, I'm jealous that you're there. Speaking of Crisis, Marvel Crisis Program. I would love it if you would paint them for me leisurely. I would love to come to Australia, Evan. I never took the ACT, only the SAT, and I got a 1580 on it. Very nice, successful geek. I don't remember what my SAT score was. All I know was that it helped me have a better score than my SAT. It was like a 32 and a half, whatever that was. I can't remember. My triathlon team was started in Australia. Nice. My GPA was like 2.2, though, just enough to graduate. Jesse, you are not a school person. You're like Gary v. You're just not a school person. That's just obviously. One Sharp Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, guys, you should go to Joe's site on Etsy, One Sharp Joe Crafts, and you should see if there's any type of organizers that he has that are good. You should, you should check it out because he does really good shit. What's my preferred brand of Calyx? Do you go full on name brand with the Calyx or do you off brand it? Steven, I, I, that's from Ikea. There's an Ikea in Memphis two hours away. So I actually, I, did we get that from the Memphis one? I, yeah, yeah, we did. We did. I hope Shearer wins the giveaway. Go to sleep, Devin. Alex, I love you. Thanks for telling me that he was lying. I'm not going to go to sleep. Uh, start with Alcatraz versus the librarians. I should do that. Ba -ba -ba. Just got way too much root stuff and trying to figure out how to store all of it. Hey, Colin, here's the best advice for storing root. Sell all of it and play on the app. That's what I'm doing. Everyone is up late tonight. Make me a mod. Let's see if I understand myself. You know what? I'm going to do it, Alex. <laughs> I'm going to make you a mod. <laughs> Uh, have you ever read Raymond E. Hyatt Feist? I have not read that, Andre. Email me at devonlnorris at gmail.com and tell me about Raymond E. Feist. I've never heard of him. Bunch of famous people in this chat. If if I qualify as a famous person, I my mind is blown. Don't make him a mod. Oh. First two-player game that comes to mind, go uh, Caesar and Blitzkrieg. Caesar and Blitzkrieg, both by Paolo Mori. West Jesse Adventure again. Is West on here? I haven't seen a comment of his. I crossed 40,000 subs today. You did 100 view views and three likes. That's so right. There's hardly any likes compared to viewers. I'm just getting into Sanders and started with Reckoner so I can get the board game. Congratulations. The whole gang is here. Yes, Joe, the whole gang apparently is here, at least here in the comments when I'm reading them. You say famous and then mention me. I'm not famous at all. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Would you pay more or less or exactly the same for a price for a used game with poorly painted minis? I would not want my minis to be painted poorly. I was a youngster who did Warhammer and painted minis poorly. I would not want that. I would rather have them be gray and unpainted. Have you read The First Law by Joe Abercrombie? Uh, Marco Ramirez Torres, I have not. Email me at devinlnorris at gmail.com and tell me about that book. Have you read the Mistborn series? Uh, you don't have to email me about that, Rogue, because I know that that's Brandon Sanderson. Quack, Hammer 40K. 100%. Uh, Jesse, we're going to... Jesse's... We're going to look at some more Hammer 40K stuff. I'm super excited. One of these days, you two should do a documentary on board games. I think it'll really make you guys stand out. I would love to do like a no-clip documentary, but on board games, that'd be so cool. Oh, da 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 you're amazing, but you're not catching up. I know, James. I'm so far behind. You're on your iPad. I'm on your TV, and I'm nowhere near catching up to you. Sanderson quickly became second only to Gaiman for me as must-read authors. Gaiman's really, really good. The Sandman series is fantastic. You know what's better than the Sandman series? Saga by Brian K. Vaughn. Earbuds and audiobooks during 12-hour work shifts. That's totally the way to do it, for sure. Inching up to 3K. Make me a mod. I definitely won't ban Jesse. I, sorry, I made Alex a mod. I'm going to see how that goes. I don't even know if Jesse's even in the chat anymore because I'm so far behind. Quacklope in the grim darkness of video streaming platforms. Is you having a good day? Tough question. I feel like I would want to pay the same, but not more because I would want to paint them myself. Oh, he's talking about the ones. Uh, do you really believe that the board game YouTube area is oversaturated? Asking for a friend. 
I don't think that the board game area in YouTube is oversaturated. I think that we don't know how to access larger YouTube. Look at almost any other type of YouTube content and the ceiling for viewers and for subscribers is so much higher. It is astounding that the largest platforms in board game YouTube are only at like 300 and less, or 350, 380,000 after like 10 to 12 years. That's really, really low for most of YouTube. So I don't think it's oversaturated. I just don't think we're getting all of the views that we, and subscriber base that we should. We should have wider appeal, wider engagement. I support with Adam Geek. No, nope, sorry, it's Alex is the mod. Uh, make everyone a mod except for Allison. That would be cool. Should we freak Devin out and tell him there's not? Steven? Steven. Did you start that? Oh my goodness. You have great taste. We must have subscribed to mostly the same channels. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Better odds than Lotto. Repent and believe the gospel. Make me a mod, Devin. You know you want to find out if I have self control. <laughs> I'm finding that out now as I scroll down. I'll see if you banned anyone. Leisure Lee, why did you do that? Why did you join? Out of everybody, I thought you would have not done that, Leisure Lee. But did anybody use those words outside of the correct context? Bean for Mana, do you like lobster seafood? Also, we need a good fisherman game, not fly fishing. I love lobster and seafood. One of my one of my favorite dishes I ever had when me and my wife went on our honeymoon in St. Croix in the Virgin Islands, we went to a place that did a lobster dish with coconut rice, and it was amazing. So good. I love seafood, but I don't get seafood um, unless I'm at the coast. It makes no sense for me to do that. So I do not get seafood unless I'm at the coast. Unless it's something like shrimp, which is easily, ex like, you know, edible everywhere. Da, 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 da. Yeah, everybody has audio because you guys are so mean. I mean, you could just consult the videotape, but writing down is more. Why well, no audio issue? No, you're good. I mean, Kim, now I can hear fine. Great. Fantastic. Jesse and Steven Schreiber, I wish you wouldn't have betrayed me. Really need to practice my coding skills and make a YouTube comment figure that lets you pull in multiple videos, subscribe, sessions. You know what, Adam? If you actually made that, I would appreciate it. I would love a comment picker that was much more like engagement across a larger variety of videos than just one. So you should do that. Thank you, Joe, for letting me know that Jesse's messing with me. Obviously, all of this is in the past tense and I'm nowhere near. Yeah, yeah you know what? I hope he does ban Jesse. I hope Alex bans him. I hope he bans him. Look what you have done. If I win, I'll 3D print you a cool insert for your favorite game. Ooh. I, I like this bribery. I like the bribery. Love you, Devin. I love you too, Steven. All right, reporting Quagla video. Hey, the classic duck is a troll. Are these three FaceTiming each other? James, we were. I I will tell you that honestly. We were talking to each other because we're saucy like that. We reported it. This is the most family drama I've seen since Christmas. Nick, you haven't seen anything but Marvel United since Christmas. Hi, Alex. Democ I did not forget I was streaming. I knew I was streaming the whole time. Quack worse than a scammer confirmed. Just practicing with slaps. Um, he has not seemed to share you with his channels. There is Troll Doll. Oh my gosh, it just jumped me all the way. Uh, I'm so far behind. Oh no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm getting closer-ish. Not really, but Phantom Menace watching Obi-Wan. I'm not watching Obi-Wan right now. I think I want to watch Obi-Wan, but my favorite meme that I do all the time with people when you're joking with them is to pretend to be Anakin from the Phantom Menace where he's in his pod race and he's like, it's working, it's working. That's one of my favorite memes of all time. Uh, fight for the love of Devin. Um, ooh, who, mm. therefore everything you do for him, I inherently get equal credit. <laughs> oh man. Jesse and Alex fighting for my love. I'm okay with that. We need who can get Devin more subscribe. Alex or the duck. I'm okay with that actually. I'm okay with them fighting for me in terms of that love. I'll donate a Marvel box for his giveaway. LOL, get him more subscribers. You know what? Joe, his Marvel box is why I reached out to Joe. He has such great like visual artwork on the sides of his Marvel Legendary or Marvel Champions box. Oh, when Alex showed it to me for the first time, I was like, I don't even know this game and I want to play it because of that box. So, again, shout out to One Sharp Joe. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, my gosh. Alex for the win. Thanks, Evan. Hey, Vero. Awesome. I'm so glad that you're here. You won the non-US one. I hope that May is in there somewhere as well. But, yeah, you won. Congratulations. 
Uh... <laughs> They're asking about the spelling of meter. That's specifically why I did not use that as the keyword. So if anybody spelled it differently, that was okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Jesse needs to give you a hamster roll, not a hamster. I don't think Jesse could give me one of his grail games. He, he totally could. He would just buy another one. But I, I need to actually play that with him when we're up in Cleveland. Time Timestamp. Timestamp. I need more alcohol. Sent you a picture of Jesse in Messenger. To me, Adam? Did you really? You did. <laughs> he sent me it, but it's that it's that face uh, that uh, gosh, what is that? Is it's not the Peppy the Frog, but it's the it's the it's the like joke troll face from you know memes back in the day. Alrighty, send you a picture. Is that a what's it mine? What's it mine? Timestamp, 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 timestamp. Jules, I have played Black Rose Wars. I've played it twice now. I absolutely loved my play of it. I think it's one of my favorite asymmetric, well, not really asymmetric, kind of asymmetric, not really. It's more just combat heavy, you know, elimination points quest game. I really, really, really like it. I wish I, I I don't know if Jesse got rid of his copy already, but I love it. I want to get it to the table more because it's a little bit difficult without the player aid to teach people, but it's so so good. I do like Scythe. How do you feel about Sellers of Catan? Carolyn, you are a mess. I like both of those games, but I don't own Catan anymore because I don't want to play it anymore. Calling it a night. Dank Labs, see ya. I, you're probably gone already, but have a good night. Uh, who won? I had to leave for a minute. It was May Quatch from the U.S. and Vero M. from outside of the U.S. Those are the winners. Have a good night, everyone. Boo-boo! No, <laughs> just, just, Jesse's sad. <laughs> the power, the Marvel United power. Oh, man, it's duck season. <laughs> I want James to comment more. I like his comments. The real reason we're here. West, how you doing? West, I haven't seen West on here yet. I don't know if he's here on yet. Um, it is rabbit season. There we go. Did I click it by accident? <laughs> it, the cursor must have been over on this side or something. But <laughs> Alex, I can't handle this right now. How do you guys do this? How do you do this? Wait, wait, wait. How do you have a difference between the non-active chat and the active chat? You're so smart. <laughs> I love you, Alex. Thank you so much for having a blue wrench and just threatening Jesse with the power of it. <laughs> oh my gosh I am so happy right now I'm so happy right now this is hilarious <laughs> 
How do you feel about Saiba? B -b 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 Always plug Saga. It is so good, Czar. It's so good. He has self control. Uh, Jesse knew it's not type so that he can then, after three come back and pretend I blocked him. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Feelings on Star Trek. I started binging. I haven't watched Star Trek actively since really Deep Space Nine, way back in the day with my dad. And there was a small period of time when they had the one that had. Was it Nathan Fillion? I can't remember who it was. No, it wasn't Nathan Fillion. It was that other guy. It was the one that, like, for, it was when it had come back. Maybe it was Next Generation or First Contact. It was something that came back after years, and that was the first one, and that was the last one I watched. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No, I didn't block him. Very, very clever. Did that doc on FFG. Man, FFG did so many good games that I love, and that's where we'll end it. Hmm. I haven't had an employee on multiple videos of mine, but I would love, I, I actually, I want to do a top 10 publishers video soon. I haven't done that yet. Uh, hamster wheel generator. It's a thing. Save money. Mm -hmm. mm. We can see all his prior messages. Crawfish over lobster any day. Depends on how much meat is in the crawfish, but I could definitely agree with you like a crawfish boil. Not much that beats a crawfish boil here in the South, like with some like spiced sausage and some corn and potatoes and some crawfish. Hell yeah. Oh, do you prefer Star Wars or Star Trek, Marvel, or DC? I instinctively, I prefer Star Wars, but most of the new stuff I haven't cared about at all. And I think that I don't instinctively like Star Trek, but I think that the promise of Star Trek is more interesting than me. I think that the heroes I like more in DC comics, but the movies have sucked. And Marvel has done a better job with their movie universe. Huge snack while gaming, other than cheese. Uh, Arnold, Aaron Arnold, I've talked about this on another live stream before, but my Amber, my wife and I are really a fans of fruit, nuts, uh, crackers, dips, stuff like that. Like we do like baked brie with nuts and uh, like baked nuts and stuff like that. We kind of go hard on snacks when we do like a for real game night. Uh, Virgin Islands are fantastic. Uh, St. Croix was really special because it was not the touristy one, and we just rented a car and drove all over, and it was kind of like our little space, and it was really nice. I have not played... I've played the Horizon Zero Dawn board game with Alex and Jesse before, but I haven't played since I've opened the one that I own. What's your number one game of all time? What's your KDM? Uh, my KDM is probably Forbidden Stars. I just... It holds a special place in my heart, and it's such a fantastic space combat game that's got a lot of stuff going for it. I think my favorite games are games that aren't really perfect. The Star Wars Rebellion, Forbidden Stars, Twilight Imperium, they have massive things that would bother people about them, but they create such memorable experiences. So those are my favorites. Uh, I also love Scrabble and Crokinole. Crokinole's fucking awesome. Did you ever play the pod racing game on Nintendo 64? I did not play it on the Nintendo 64, James, because I didn't own a Nintendo 64. I played the pod racing game on the laptop or not a laptop, a computer at the time. And I was awesome. I had the dude who had like blue pointed side stashes and he was a little more like heavy set. That was my favorite racer. He was awesome. I do the Anakin. It's working meme all the time. Props, man. It's working. Oh, it's so good. Josiah, you and me just became friends. Oh, man, just thought about this. My YouTube picture is from a booze cruise in St. John's. Nice. Oh, Pod Racer. Yeah, you were still talking about Pod Racer. Who else going to Origins? I'm going to Origins. I'm working at the booth for Lucky Duck. Come say hi to me. I remember playing the Pod Racer game. Oh, man, such a good game. Spotted a trove chest. There is a trove chest over there. I do. It's Jesse's other one that he let me have because he's super nice. And I've put a bunch of stuff in it now. I've organized it with the stickers and stuff. Never been to a gaming conv convention. I suggest you go to it if you have the means to do so. It's a very fun experience if you know what you're going there for and you're okay. Like, I, I think it's better to go with someone. I don't, if you go by yourself, you kind of have to do a lot of social effort. If you go with someone, you kind of have a partner in crime. <sighs> I'm going to Gen Con this year. So, hey, Joe, I want to see you at Gen Con. I want to say hi. I'm going to be there. 
I hope you guys have fun. Oh, no, no audio. Yeah, Devin likes my comments. Of course I like your comments. Yeah, for real this time. Sound drop, lost sound, audio. Yeah, but ba 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 do all the way then. Is the no but still going, or are we needing to go 16 hours on this live stream? No, we're going for a while, Dennis. We're going. Actual silence. Everything is made up, but the points don't matter. Billy, that's how I do this. Yep, no audio. LOL. Audio, audio, audio. He's not going to notice it for so long. I am going to notice it because Alex, is. he's got my back. He's so far behind in the comments and he will never notice. Yeah, I'll try to go all the way down at some point. Is it worth going to Gen Con alone? It depends on the kind of person you are, Jeremiah. If you're the kind of person that is okay to be social by yourself, then you should be fine. If you're the kind of person who is going to be a little bit uncomfortable, like inserting yourself in a game or in a social encounter, then it might be a little weird going by yourself. And he's so far, man, this could take 20 minutes before Hill knows I'll wager he'll get a call. It's back now. There we go. And he's back. Oh my gosh, it just cut so far. There we go. That's good now. Woo, that was fun. I'm back. I'm back. Classic Devin. Thanks, Steven. Bang up job. What are the chances? Get a new drink, buddy. I need, I, I need more, Nick. Nobody comment for like two minutes. Missed a call. No. Oh. I answered the call. Okay, I'm back. I made a new drink. It's not accurately measured and it's not really shaken at all. It's stirred. Shaken but not stirred. Stirred but not shaken. Alright. For the mini I painted on the weekend. Thank you so much, Jules. I will go check it out. Just be less popular. That's how you do it. I can't believe you blocked me. I have to go into Devin's account to fix this. Gen Con is fine solo, lots of events. Yeah, yeah, Joe, like, you can go to Gen Con solo. It just depends on the kind of personality you are, I think. Like, if you're comfortable doing that, go for it. All Devin's best content is muted. Czar. Ugh. You're, I like you. You should stay in streams from now on. Pulling the strings behind the audio loss. We got you. I had to reverse my page for all levels between... I shared the meaning of life. I did. 42. I hired Devin. Alex pockets all the money for himself. Oh, I thought he was talking about crypto. I'm not talking about crypto. I'm talking about Marvel United. I don't have four kids. Oh, he's talking about Alex. Okay, I need to go all the way down to the bottom, make sure nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Classic finger stir. Hit you, Bond. We're going to be doing an actual collection view with when Jesse comes down. Needs a mini fridge for the den and a couple of stirs. Probably. Probably so. I'd like to do a game of something smaller than Origins or Gen Con. Totally. Paul, you should do it. It's a lot of fun. Just go and just play games. Should we all go watch Little Dicky while he's gone? My favorite one is Save Dat Money. I love Save Dat Money. Do you think that Beat Saber is a little too sexual? I don't think that Beat Saber is too sexual. I think that Beat Saber is the right amount of sexual. Mm, welcome back. Jesus Christ, that was the pit crew of <laughs> Jake Mate. Thank you so much. I had all the stuff out. I had all the stuff out, so it went really well. Can timestamp be the code word for a new drink? Uh, timestamp can 100% be the code word for a new drink. The chair for the win. Well, he's gone. If you could steal a game from Devin's shelf, what would you take, chat? Ooh, Jules, what would you guys take? I'm really curious about that. Tell me what I would take. Tell me what you would take. I'll have this going for a bit. Trying to. Reorganize the crazy white box from Super Fantasy Pro. Ah, I, uh, the actor he was thinking of was Scott Pakula. That's who I was thinking of. That's who I was thinking of. 
Yeah, and I think it was just called Enterprise. You're right. Thank you so much, Joe. Um, no audio. Is there really... Mm, is there... No, 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 no. What a troll. Jesse back in power. Everybody say hello to chair. Honestly, like, that's a nice chair. Honestly, I like this more. Really, Jesse. Really, Jesse. Is that what we're thinking of? In honor of Jesse, guys, there are 85 viewers and only 58 likes. That's so not cool. Um, that's for you, Jesse. Uh, Grim, please email me at devonlnorris at gmail.com and talk to me about Sutter Kane. I've never heard of the person. Mm, chair stream. Actually need to get going and get some sleep. Hey, Adam, I hope you have a great one. Um, thanks so much. Uh, you're awesome. I've never been to a gaming convention either. One day I'll make it to the States again. If only I could go to one, which one should I go to? Jules, my pick out of the ones I've been to would be PAX Unplugged. It was the most chill of them. If you want to meet people like Network Network, um, I would go to Gamma. I think Gamma was actually really good for just talking to people. But that's kind of like on the industry side of stuff. If you're going for like board game barbecue stuff. If you're going just to play games and have fun, either Gen Con or PAX Unplugged. I haven't been to Origins yet. This will be my first one. Though I am going to Essen this year. I'm excited about that. Oh, everybody answered his question. Yay, what's in the drink? What's in the box? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, this is cognac, bourbon, grapefruit juice, lemon juice, simple syrup, and cherry bitters. Moonrakers for sure. That's a good pick. Uh, Timestamp is assigned to a shot. Ugh. Townsfolk. Uh, quick, so I don't own KDM, so I would love for you to steal KDM from my collection to where it meant that I had it in my collection. Trove Chest would be a good pick. Unsettled would be a good pick. Yeah, then a lot of those are really, really good. Cloud Spire. I've got the update pack for it. I just need to I need to put the update pack in there. Mmm. Yeah, we're just gonna you just, just tell me how you're gonna rob me. Mmm, chair's a chair, but damn that damn door is awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah. I actually I built those. I created those doors, not not the one, not that one, but the doors over there that are like barn doors. There are two regular sized doors that I like bolted or screwed together to make one larger door, and then I got a barn door system, and we have like tracks along the top. Honestly, because I'm kind of a perfectionist, it's a little bit of a piece of shit, but it works. It works for now. It works for now. Um, just you can sit by too since the chair is empty. That's the door for the zombie apocalypse. If I've ever seen one, that's a pretty good zombie apocalypse door. It would just need a lock on the inside. Thanks for the con advice. Yeah, Jules, happy to give it. Is he really going the other direction with the comments now? Such a wild card. I am actually trying to work down up now to catch up, but I don't know how well it'll work. Can you text text me the recipe for that drink? Um, sure, Carolyn. Yeah, I can text it to you. Uh, I made it up, but I will text it to you because I wouldn't steal from you. Thanks so much. If we're robbing someone, Jesse is better. He would not notice at all. If you stole like 30 of Jesse's games, he would not know for years. Uh, if we could have a promo, which game would it be for? Oh, if you could have a promo, which game would it be for? I would want it to be for... That's a really good question. Uh, I would love to be a character in the Red Rising card game, which sounds weird. And I know that a lot of people didn't love that game, but I love the book series. So to get to be a character alongside all those characters that I love, that would be super cool. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. That was a joke. Sutter Kane is a steal. Okay, fine. Fine, Grimlock. Just make fun of me. Baby... Amber and the baby are okay. That went down smoothly. Timestamp. Um, yeah, Amber's hanging out with some of our friends from Colorado right now, and she's having a great time, and the baby is apparently still asleep. I did not back to Neris Adventures um, because I'm a terrible person. I'm about to start the first episode of Arcane. Worth the watch. Oh my gosh, K-Rob. Stop what you're doing. Leave this stream right now and go binge watch all of Arcane because it's one of the best shows to come out in the last two years. Absolutely. Like, Stop listening to me and go watch Arcane. I'm on the verge of putting in the Pledge Manager for Voidfall. Uh, oh, James, 
if you go in the pledge manager for Voidfall with Tricarion and an acrony in it, I have an acrony, but just if you could put in an extra copy of Voidfall and an extra copy of Tricarion and just send it my way, I might appreciate that. I would appreciate that. And it wouldn't break my rule because I'm not buying it. Um, if your wife would, if it would bother your wife, don't do it. Keep your wife happy. Keep who, who, whoever you are, keep whoever spouse or partner you have happy. Um, Spiteski, just get undertow. No, actually, don't get undertow. Do not get undertow. Base game is easier than undertow. Undertow has more complex characters. Just start with base too many bones. Mmm. You get to name the drink then. Oh, I, I'm gonna name the drink the Kolb. The, the, the Kolb Nord. I'm gonna name it the Kolb Nord because you should know why I'm naming that, Carolyn. Uh, base TMB has tons of content. Agreed, Vero. You should 100% listen to the person who just won $150 worth of games. Uh, oh, by the way, I need to reach out to them, but Vero, email me at devonlnorris at gmail.com so that I have contact information for you. I don't know if May's in this chat. I, don't, I haven't seen her. Mm, I, Aaron, that's 100% accurate. I did steal from Jesse, and that's how I got Townsfolk Tussle. Uh, to be fair, though, I asked Shira to send it to me, and she likes me, so she sent it. But I, otherwise, yeah, I stole it. The trick is when you get in when it first launches, like, yeah, th th there you go. Like, when you get in on the content, when it starts, you each thing that comes out, it's easier to adapt to and learn. Moth of Meta is probably lesser than Apocalypse, truly, even compared to that. I don't, I don't want to steal from this, but do you want to take the shrink? Oh, my gosh, Colin. He has so much shrink on his games, it drives me crazy. Uh, P.O. So that's the kind of door I'd want for my office once we get to the point of building our own house. One, only things I worry about, pricing and soundproofing. Um, Katarin, soundproofing is the thing that drives me crazy. I have doors which physically block the space, and I can hear everything on it. And because sometimes I'm trying to work from home, and I have a four-month-old and a three-year-old, I feel fatherly compelled to go help and be involved with stuff that's going on, and even though I have people who are here caretaking. So the soundproofing part is terrible. It's absolutely awful. And I don't really know if there's any type of barn door that would ever have a good soundproofing solution. Burr, 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 burr. Did Red Ray Rising make you cry? Red Rising did not make me cry, but I think that it's one of the best trilogies to come out. And opposed to what Jesse thinks, I actually think the second trilogy is even more mature and beautiful uh, it's just something that is harder to grind through just because it's a deeper, more nuanced take. What game do you most want to play with your kids when they get older? I would love to play so many games with my kids. Avery is intelligent for an eight-year-old, and he's able to play quite a few different games, but there's so many other games that I want to do. Joe, 100% right. Red Rising was amazing. My kids would dent that door. My kids probably already have dented the door, and I just don't know. Good night, everyone. Jonathan, I hope you have a great night. Have a good night. Starting a big boy job soon. Cannot wait to go down the Kickstarter rabbit hole. Czar, I wish you the best in the rabbit hole, and I wish you the best in the job. Gonna crash. Always love your stream. Hey, Freebooter, have a good one. I hope you have a good night. Thanks for being here. Be careful, Czar. It will drag you into a problem. Uh, Nick, uh, stop talking if you're not talking about Marvel United, okay? That's just what you should do. Um, I already have a clip. Should I back arcs? Uh, I really like the idea of arcs because I love trick taking games, but I can't get it. So sorry. Um, I'm now being leveraged to help Devon subvert his pledge. I don't know what you're talking about, James. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about at all. They don't deliver. Whoa. They don't deliver. Minimum. Uh, yeah, but I can't buy them now, Nick. I can get them when they come out, but I can't buy them now, which I guess is okay because... Leader Games has plenty of their stuff available when stuff comes out. Would buying a digital board game or an RPG rulebook failure challenge or with it? No, Grim, that's that that doesn't work. That I have plenty. I need. I have RPG stuff from Free League that I need to get some groups together for, create some RPG sessions and cover. So yeah, no, th those don't count. Or no, they do count. I cannot do those. Make your hobby part of your business, then the wife is always happy. Hey, Joe, you're doing way better at that than me, but that's because you're smarter than me, Joe. You have it up here in ways that I don't. I don't know any of the technical engineering and 3D knowledge that you do. You're just smarter than me. Thoughts on Batman Gotham City Chronicles? I would love to try that because I like Batman. He's one of my favorite 
superheroes, but I don't know anything about the game. What would you recommend for a gateway dungeon crawler? Mmm, gateway. Maybe Jaws of the Lion, which I have, but I haven't jumped into. Gateway is difficult. Dungeon crawlers can be pretty heavy. Um, Alex might be a better reference point for a gateway dungeon crawler. You should ask Alex. Is too many bones good for two player? Does it fall apart above that? Spiteski, I think if the two players both know the rules consistently and you play with the same person and like you get into a groove, I think too many bones is awesome for two player. But the person needs to know and you guys need to play consistently. My issue is that every time I learn it, I have to relearn it because it's been a while. I'll binge Arcane then I'll... Uh, hey, hey, I appreciate it, K-Rob. I know that you're in North... Uh, you said Northeast Arkansas? So you're close to Memphis? You said NEA. I'm used to seeing NWA, but you said NEA last time. So I guess you're close to Memphis. Maybe like Paragold, Memphis area. But yeah, 100% enjoy Arcane. Oh my gosh, wait. I, I was so close to... No. What is your favorite game older than 10 years old? Ah, that's tough. Um, Scrabble, Crokinole, probably Crokinole. Crokinole is amazing. Maybe that's cheating because it's not like a published board game, but Crokinole is amazing. When you get to 10,000 subs, Jesse will get you human. When Jesse gets to 50K, you can de-shrink all his games. Jules, I will rip all of the shrink off all of his games, and it will bug him, and I will be so happy. Three years working from home, four-year-old and a one-year-old. So, yeah, soundproofing is the biggest deal here as well. A hundred percent soundproofing. And it, it's not even like trying to sound insincere or like not grateful for the opportunity to work from home. But it really is like if you don't have your own isolated space, it becomes you're not actually working. You're at home, which is, you know, yeah. I need a refill, Devin. Ben, you should go get a refill. James, you're 100% right. The fact that they're on a track means that there's a um, spatial barrier between it and the wall. So, yeah, no soundproofing. There's no soundproofing that solves children. <laughs> um, but gets easier the more players you have. That's really interesting, Matthew. That's good to know. I have personally, from the Unbreakable campaign, I've backed... Uh, static because I want his martial arts kind of solo ability and I think if I do static and gilly I think I'll have a really good combo to experience that game by myself the crew best with two players I would not say that I would say that the crew is better with maybe like four because you get a lot of the tension of trying to communicate or not communicate with people really really good Oh boy, didn't also you can play the crew on board game arena and it's really good for when you have friends that don't live near you. Didn't think I'd ever catch a live stream because it's 7 a.m. here. Thanks for what you're doing. Mayor and I have tried to make it to when you guys are waking up in Europe and I'm here for you. So when can we expect QuackCon? Honestly, I need to get drunk with you and Jesse in person. Steven, I would I love that. I would love that so much. I would love to just have drinks with people at a QuackCon. Jesse and I really need to get that started. Uh, we have plans for that. We need to work on that. We actually have plans for that. Staple egg cartons to the walls. Oh, for sound reduction. Yeah, 100%. Um, um, <laughs> it's while my family is getting drunk in my grave. My partner has laid the ground rules for me to save for me going too far down the rabbit hole. That's smart, Zar. You should always have partners that help you out. When did you start with your son? Mine's four, obviously. I want to make him be a board game nerd or Warhammer. Um, so our son, Avery, uh, he's our adopted son. Our Danny, our, th our three-and-a-half-year-old, uh, she's our first natural born. Avery is our adopted son, and he, we adopted him when he was six because um, we've had him for two years now. Well, almost six-and-a-half. Um, so, yeah, no, uh, I've been playing games with him ever since we've had him here at the house for the last two years. Can I be in your RPG group? Jesse, you could always be in my RPG group, 100%. Are you back in the new Tainted Grail? No, I need to steal Jesse's Tainted Grail before I can do that. Did my friend with On Mars get a hold of you? K-Rob, yes. I talked with Elise, and me and her are going to try and meet up at some point. I'm going to be out of town for a couple weeks after Jesse gets here, but I would love to meet up with Elise and play in Little Rock, so 100%. 
My five-year-old is great with the right games, Dragon Omino, for a gateway, Dungeon Crawler, maybe Tiny Epic Dungeons. I have not played Tiny Epic Dungeons, so I can't verify that. I would also say that Gloomhaven on Steam is a great way to actually get introduced to the game because it, as a tutorial and as a way to in, intro into the game, it's really, really good. Uh, I haven't heard of Dragon Omino, Dennis, so I, I can't do that. Top three, blank and right. Uh, R Railroad Inc. is 100% there for me. I've played a lot of Welcome To online on Board Game Arena, and I've enjoyed that. Uh, I really liked Hadrian's Wall, though. So Hadrian's Wall, Railroad Inc., and I just got Cartographer Heroes. I'm really interested in checking out Cartographers. I suck at drawing, but I like doing it. What is a required expansion like you won't play the game without it? Oh, Aaron, 100%. Lords of Waterdeep with the Scoundrels of Skullport. No-brainer. Absolute no-brainer. That's 100% a required expansion. I have a clean King's Pledge with Versus Kennedy and haven't even played yet. What do you think about ISS Vanguard? Ichiban, um, Jesse's more of someone that could talk about that. Um, I have not played Tainted Grail or ISS Vanguard. I really like a lot of what Awaken Realms does, but I have not had the opportunity to play most of them, and I don't have the money to grab a lot of them on secondary market right now. So I would love to play all of them. Because they, I love narrative, big, world-building, visually impressive games. So all of those sound cool. If you give someone money in the pledge to a Kickstarter and then give you the copy, does that count as buying it? Um, Zar, that sounds like a workaround. Unless I didn't expect that they would do that. If they, if I didn't know they were going to do that, maybe. Gateway didn't crawl. Doom, Doom at Jaws of the Line. Still heavy, but walks you through it. It isn't too long. So, James, sounds like I was right. What's the secret RPG channel? Did you start that yet? Jesse has the Duck DM. You can look that up. Um, we haven't really... I don't know if he's done anything on it, um, but that's the one that it is. Paragold right on your guest. Nice! Awesome. Okay, cool. We have a really good friend from there, K-Rob, uh, called uh, Andrew. He is currently in anesthesiology residency in Kentucky, but he's from Paragold. Don't force your hobby on anyone. Be gentle lest they resent it. Yeah, grim. Good stuff. Zara, glad to hear I didn't have anybody and they got hit in the face with a shovel. Nick, stop talking about stuff that's not Marvel United. You know you shouldn't be doing that. I'm getting it. Just sold my original version for a nice product. Oh my gosh, guys. The amount of stuff. I mean, hey, the concurrent viewers has dropped, but that has made it to where the likes are way up top. Please shout out me, please, bro. Varun Rathi. I am giving you a shout out. I'm looking at the camera and I'm giving you Varun. A shout out. Time Sam. Ooh, Nick Spicy. He has isolated or retracted a message. I have isolated space. They invaded 100%. I understand. That. I got him in the face of other things. Great warning. I'm glad you guys are talking to each other. I didn't like the art of the new Tainted Grail. I haven't seen the new art for it, so I don't know. Um, later, everyone, have fun on the chat. Each band, I'll see you later. Quack Con would have to be an outside of myself. Too much for me to manage alone. Quack Lope. Uh, Jesse. Yep. Yeah. It's something that we could devise, but it would take work. Uh, da, 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 da. Perfect opening to a day. 7 a.m. Hey, Finland. You're in Finland. I would love to visit Finland and Norway and all the Scandinavian countries. It's so beautiful there. And you guys have a lot of stuff socially, economically, politically, governmentally that I appreciate. So I would love to come to Finland. Um, 71 viewers and only 71 thumbs up. Oh, you're a mess, Jesse. Adoption is dope, says me and adopted fellow czar. I'm glad that we can appreciate each other. I'll sell games in Australia. I'm coming out of the gut. Gotta own them all face. Starting to cultivate my ridiculous. Hey, Kilinor, I hope you do well in refining that collection. Devin is only 40 away from 3K. Um, share with your game group or make fake accounts. Have you played Oath? I have not. <laughs> Carolyn, I answered this question. I answered it already. I told Nathan I have not played Oath yet. Stop asking. You, you should know that. You should know that. You lose a little bit of value, but it's guaranteed smooth. If you're trying to move old board games, our four-year-old girl likes playing Sagrada. That's awesome if she's four and loves doing that. Man, Carcassonne Castle, Castle Monk can love it. That's awesome. Your four-year-old sounds amazing. Man, Finland kids, better education. Love Lords of Waterdeep with Skullport. Great fun. I love that it still gets mentioned. Oh, 100%. Lords of Waterdeep with Skullport. Such a good game. The app is one of the better board game apps, even though it's an older app. Like, honestly, a lot of stuff should learn from that. 
Uh, Root needs to 100% do a speed up of watching what other people have done where it doesn't have to take so long. Are you allowed to pay us back for backing your games by building us all doors? Dennis, I will build you whatever door you want, even if I don't know how to do it. Because my favorite thing when I come across like a woodworking or a construction or home renovation project, I just love getting to go buy tools. Getting to go buy tools is like my favorite thing. Devin, Facebook message me. Yes, we're friends there. We'll need some info for reasons. Oh my goodness. James, I'll message you on there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open that up. On my phone, so I don't remember, or so I do remember, really is this time at 10.50. That was a while ago. Okay. James? Right? Hey, this is me. I've messaged. There we go. Where am I? Is Jesse's bald head sexy in real life? Is it on camera? Ben? Jesse's head is very sexy. So I have been telling Jesse, and he can verify this, I've been telling him for a while now that I think that if you have any amount of hair that you're that you're losing, like if your hair is thinning, if it's receding at certain points, I think the best look, if you can grow facial hair, which I can't, mine looks very puby and gross, but if you can grow facial hair, if you can grow a beard like he can, I think the best look is bald plus beard. So I'm with you. I think it looks really good. But uh, da, 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 da. if you have any overflow friends, whoa, you can part with, send them my way. Can't find anyone peer gold for a game group. Yeah, K okay, Rob, I imagine. So I'm like, you know, I know a little bit about peer gold I haven't visited, but, you know, probably not as accessible for board gaming as Little Rock. So I wish the best for you. But you, if you ever come to Little Rock, let me know and we can hang out. Quackle, me and 61 people are awaiting that first RPG. 100%. Visit Wisconsin. Mizungu Marine. I would love to visit Wisconsin. I know that uh, Jeremy Howard's there. Would love to hang out with him and hang out with you. Uh, also, I love travel, so sure. Hit me up and I'll show you around. 100%. Thanks for this awesome talk. Hopefully, I'm, uh, yeah, 100%. Thanks for being here, Juan. Um, did you back Hoplomachus Victorum? Evan, I did not back Hoplomachus Victorum because the, uh, Chip Theory Games is one of the people that even before I met Jesse and Alex, when I was doing written reviews for Game Tyrant, which is a sister website to uh, Geek Tyrant, when I was with them, I developed a relationship with Chip Theory to where I kind of I purchased the first game. And then they, I got the second game when it was Cloud Spire, and they were doing the new printing. I got the old printing, and then they've sent me Burn Cycle. So I'm kind of at the point now where I've done enough content that they know that I'll do content. And so I'm hoping that they'll send me Victorum. So I would love to do Hoplomachus Victorum. I have not personally pledged it, though. Um, I have played Between Two Castles. Yes, I love Between Two Castles. It's a Stonemeyer game where they did... Mad King Ludwig and Between Two Cities, and they mashed it. I think it's better than Seven Wonders. It's my game that I would teach to people who don't play games often, and it's a good cooperative game. Alex would kill me for saying that, but I like it more than Seven Wonders. I hope I can win the KDM giveaway. I'm playing with friends, and I love it with my own copy now, so I can paint it all. Jules, oh my gosh. If you win the giveaway, or if you just get it on your own, please, please send me pics of your paintings for KDM. I would love that. I would absolutely love that. Uh, Andre, hey, have a good night. I hope you have a good one. Summertime perfect for families. Reserve a summer cabin by lake and just taking it easy. Oh, you're talking about in Finland. That would be awesome. Timestamp. That's for you, Nick. Marvel United. I don't paint my minis. I haven't painted minis since I was like 10 in England. Um, so 100%. Yeah, I, I would love to start getting to the point to where I dry brush or wash them, but I haven't done that. Going to try to build my own board game table soon. Cannot wait for, to buy a bunch of tools for it. Zar, let me know. Send pics about what you do at devinonorris at gmail.com. Blushing. Jesse, I love you. You're a good person. I'm with you on the Joe Dirt facial hair. Yeah, Dennis, it's just like I, I look like a scrappy... 13 year old that's trying to grow his first, uh, you know, horrible, dirty stash. PB Facial Crew checking in. There are hundreds of us. Hundreds of us. 
there are dozens of us, if anybody watches Arrested Development. Um, can confirm out of all combos, Bald, Bearded, Jesse is 10 out of 10 Marvel United. Yeah, I, that's how I would vote it, too. I believe Jesse Jeremy lives in w Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where I am. Oh, James, I guess we're going to hang out then. How Marvel United are you feeling tonight, Nick? Mar Nick is feeling like 7 out of 8 Marvel Uniteds tonight. Are any of you going to be covering my father's work? That's from Renegade Games. I didn't back that. Jesse might. Awesome, Devin. I got the Hero Pledge. If you end up getting a copy, I would love to see some content from you. Oh, you're talking about Hero Pledge for Hoplomachus Victorum. It, I will probably get that game if they have the available review copies. They'll send it to me. So, yeah, I'll cover it for sure. My wife said I can only get two games playing. I'm back in Kesselberg. What would you recommend the second game be either already out or coming later? Out of the ones that I've already seen would be either ARCs or... Out of stuff that's already out or coming later. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, board game books and what? If you haven't backed Moonrakers, they're going to be doing the full, like, big box in June, in early June. So you could definitely get in on Moonrakers if you have extra. So Moonrakers would be my vote for ones that are right about to be out. Um... Aaron, I wish you the best of luck in building the board game table. I hope you and Zark can share some thoughts. Do you have Instagram or any other social media in Marvel? Uh, so I do not have – In I mean, I do have Instagram. I have Instagram. I have other social media. I just not – I'm not active or I don't, don't do anything. In, and it's not related at all to Devin Talks Tabletop. It's just my Devin Norris accounts. So – I know Mar a lot of people, uh, people that I know really like Marvel's Marvel Crisis Protocol. Uh, I, I just haven't gotten into it. But if you want to send me a base copy with your awesome paintings, I will check it out. But I, I don't know anything about it other than the fact that I know that people like it. Um, I am nearly caught up. I'm getting close, Jules. I'm getting really close. I know it's going to be hard, but it's worth it to spend like 4K on one. So here's my goal. My goals are... Out of everything I've done so far on the channel, my goal is to get to the point where I can talk to someone and be like, hey, I want a board game table. I will do a review on it. But I feel like most people in the board game industry just are like, hey, here's my review of this table. And they do one video. I don't want to do one video. I want to do a like vlog journey of me experiencing a table over the course of a lot of time where I set it up for DMing for RPG, where I set it up for a board game, where I have all of the other stuff where I'm getting all the attachments in. And I just... I want to take a board game table and really do it justice over the course of multiple videos and uh, experience of like living with it for a while. And that's what I want to do. And I hope that that's appealing to some people that do board game tables. Mm, three out of six Marvel United's. That's not as good as I need it to be, Nick. We need to, we need to fix that. Most anticipated campaign that you'll really have to resist the urge to back. Oof, ARCs is pretty high up there, but there's a couple other ones that are probably going to come up in the next 12 months, James, that I'm really going to regret not being able to back. I already am upset about the fact that I missed Voidfall because I really like Mind Clash designs, even though they're heavier than sometimes the people around me would be able to do. Um, and envious of all the Kickstarter stuff I won't get of Marvel United, 100%. More Moonrakers. I'm waiting on Moonrakers. 100%. Yeah. What's up, babe? I got raspberries. They were not covered in mold when I got in the store. How is that my fault? I didn't... You want me to open the raspberries in the store? I'm sorry. I can get you more raspberries. I'm sorry. I'm Are any of them good? I, I promise I will go to the store tomorrow. I will get you a literal fuck ton of raspberries. I got you the pretzels. But I'll get you raspberries. I'll get you more raspberries, I promise. I'm sorry I didn't get you any raspberries. I mean, I, I try to get you raspberries. I love you. I'll get you more raspberries. 100%. Um, mm, 
Uh, board games. <laughs> I'm so far behind now. Um, thoughts on Witcher Old World board game? I would have loved. Oh, that's gonna open. Is it? No, it stopped. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. oh, dude, Nick, I will, I will sign the shit out of your Marvel United Origins. You just bring it by, I'll sign it. Um, I really wanted to do Witcher Old World, but there were a couple other publishers who had games that I just. I liked those publishers and I had relationships with them, so I backed their stuff. And Witcher Old World, I wasn't sure if it was one that I would really play as much, especially with Osworn coming in. Uh, Leisure Lee, you're awesome, and we'll chat. Wait, sign all 45 expansions too. Nick, if you bring your entire Marvel United collection to Origins and you bring all of those boxes, I will sign all of them. Table vlog, I want to see it. Excellent idea regarding the table. I'm about done with the plans for my table, then it's off to the lumber mill. Nice! I had the first Kickstarter of Moon and took to work for... Definitely a good call to remind me to back them. Yeah, 100% board games. Happy to help you out. Uh-oh. Uh yeah, Carolyn knew that my wife was coming in. Mold, oh no. Oh, wait, where we go? Uh-oh, uh she's going to get you. Don't question the wife run. <laughs> These snozberries taste like snozberries. Oh, Super Troopers. What an amazing quote. Leisurely Minis has my vote for life from just for the fact that they just quoted Super Troopers. You bought them only. No wonder she's mad. Indeed. Hide by the for the raspberries right in her arms. Don't drive now as much as you've been time saving. Raspberries are inherently moldy. Sadly, I pass them all. Come on, it's milk my wallet so much. I need a break. Do you often pick moldy raspberries from the store? Ben, don't even do that. Don't even do that to me. Do you need, you need to vassal? I've been scolded for moldy raspberries. How do, mold, how do raspberries tomorrow help you tonight? <laughs> You're a mess, Carolyn. I don't even like you anymore. They're such a pain. They go bad in a day or two. Freeze them in if you buy them in bulk. I didn't even buy them in bulk. I just bought them in a container. And I promised, like I looked at them and I didn't see any mold in them. So they must have really honestly been just on the inside. Uh, somebody's in trouble. Shut the door, Ezra. Get a rare sight into Mrs. Talk's tabletop. Kilinor, Mrs. Talk's tabletop is the only reason I am happy in life is because she's amazing. Brandon Sanderson, Skyward Seuss. I'm not familiar with the metrics. How many raspberries is it fucked up? <laughs> oh, Tim, that's good. That's a good one. I feel like I need to get Marvel United now. The uh, message retracted. Steven, did you say something spicy? Also, cooking wisdom, blue raspberry flavor is usually made from esters of banana, cherry, and pineapple. Super Troopers got it from Willy Wonka. That's amazing. Okay. I'm going to go pee real quick, and I'm going to try to make it as quick as my... I I'm going to go pee and get a new drink. These schnozberries taste like schnozberries.
Oh my gosh. <sighs> can I get a liter of cola? Liter of cola. Can I, do we do liter of cola? Oh my goodness. Does that look like spit to you? I love the amount of super trooper quotes that are coming in right now. Ah. Ah. But I did caught up. Yeah, I still like this more. I hate you so much. Double time. What does it look like to me? More Chen Chen. Quick, everyone talks to me. gets behind again. I hate you so much. Slam and Salmon was not so great. The chair is wise. He just switches over to Nemo's Dreamscapes. Hey, that means, Steven, you watched the video. That was such a good one. He's gone. We have the power now. What's going on? We have Wild Crab. It's a great quack. It's just a little cup of chair. These times, just keep up the babies waking them. Top two chair, to be sure. I don't do that. I don't know. so much tonight. He's getting, I'm not getting raspberries. Not anymore. Can I get a liter of cola? Can we get a liter of cola? Do you drive Devin all week? Ugh. Have you read Mistborn yet? It's for me. It's better than I have not read Mistborn. I'm sorry. Um, have to get ahead. Should we just spam quacks? You want a liter of cola? Oh my gosh. Don't drive Devin. That's a trap. Clearly, instead of buying board, Devin and Shira should just build the Lego Optimus Prime. That would be amazing. I would love to do a Lego build with Shira on video. That would be awesome. I went to read Fortify this year before the new ones arrived. It's good that ducks don't need sleep. Although he's making this drink correct. Yes, I am. Um, to be fair, though, I did that really cool thing where you do like the like mixing at the same time. And then I kind of like sloshed some simple syrup on the counter. So I'm going to have to clean that up after this. Anyone going to Origins is your Bill, we've already been talking about that. I am going to Origins. Jesse's going to Origins. People are going to Origins. Come on, hang out with us. Mm, but, but did, did Jesse tell someone you behind the scenes video makes really caught him on more spot? Yes, Wesley. We I I have personally today deleted or hide from the channel like fifty or more spam comments or accounts. Paranormal activity, but less exciting. Get up, but, but, uh, man, I miss friends with. But with gas, I'm not traveling. See them. I have seventy five more of United bucks to get signed. Nick. Bring it on. If you bring 75 boxes of Marvel United to a convention, I will sign all of them. Um, did someone say shenanigans? Hey, <laughs> hey, Farmer, what's that place you love with all the stuff on the walls? Oh, you mean shenanigans? <laughs> Pistol whip. Um, if you ever make your way to Maryland, hit me up. Who wants a mustache, Brian? I love that all of you know Super Troopers. That makes my heart so happy. Worst book you ever read. Worst book I ever read. Oh, man, that's a tough one. I'll have to think about that. Worst book I ever read. I don't know the answer to that one right now, Zar, but I kind of am curious what I feel about that. Okay, meow. All right, meow. What I want you to do right meow is say meow 10 times when you pull this person over. I need you to read this comment right meow. Right meow. I'm off to the airport to pick up my better and far more check pad. That's how I feel about Amber, James. I hope you have a good one. Great team, Devin. Make sure you check Messenger. I will check Messenger. I will 100% check it. Thought you said orgies and not origins. Carolyn, I'm all about both of those things. Did you Tom Cruise the bottles all twirly style like in cocktail? No, I just did do, 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 and it didn't work well. I wasn't as twirly as you think I was. Read the comment aloud or else we don't have context. Jesse... Shh. Devin humble bragging about porn alcohol made me realize I messed up getting married. Uh, you know what, Nick? Marvel United, Marvel United, Marvel United. And Amber and I have an open marriage with anybody who loves Marvel United. Um, I did a series on mixed drinks to pair with different games. You know what? You know someone who does drinks with games was Dan Hess, who was friends with Jesse, who did tabletop tipples on the blog. I don't think he really does it anymore, but he did that. Another movie to add to the list. Oh, Super Troopers is like such a un underrated, eminently quotable comedy. So good. Attention, bear fucker. Um, so good. You didn't say <laughs> Car Ramron. <laughs> Car Ramron. Leisurely email me and let me know about those books. Jesse hasn't written the worst book you've ever read yet. No, he hasn't written it yet. Once he writes it, I'll know the worst book I've ever read. Beer Fest might beat out Super Troopers. Eh. Beer Fest was good, but it wasn't as classic to me as Super Troopers. I thought Super Troopers was just so good, but I just found it. 
I'm glad that you found that. I don't know what we're talking about, Jeremiah, because I've lost track of stuff. Agreed. Beer Fest wins. Really, a lot of people think Beer Fest wins. That's that's interesting to me. Robin Hood, Men in Tights versus Austin Powers. Which movie is better? I think that Austin Powers is like maybe more culturally memorable, but I think that Robin Hood, Men in Tights was maybe funnier for what it was trying to portray, probably. Amun Ray, 20th anniversary, coming soon. I saw an email about that to Jesse. Um, I don't know anything about that game. Anything by Club Lizard is good. I thought Club Dread was okay. I thought Club Dread was not their best. How are you going to chug with those baby lips? Chug this maple syrup. I need your Audible. I got a credit and I'll give you the Audible book now. Leisurely Minis. Email me at devinlnorris at gmail.com. Agreed on Super Cheapers. I just think was pretty huge when I was in high school, like nearly 20 years ago. Grim, stop aging everybody in this chat, okay? Grim, that's on you. That's on you for doing that. Um, has staying power where Men in Tights hasn't aged as well. Has Men in Tights not aged as well? Honestly, I haven't watched Men in Tights or Austin Powers in a while. Maybe one of them's better than the other over time. Between these three things, you have to burn one, borrow one, once per week, and buy one. Your car, your TV, and your mattress. I would I would buy my mattress, I would burn my TV, and I would borrow my car once per week. 100%. Do not fuck with what you sleep on. Don't mess with it. You need sleep. Naked gun. Oh, naked gun. And 33 and, and a third... Uh, such a naked gun is Leslie is man. Those, those movies are hilarious. No super troopers is better than beer fest. I agree. I think super troopers is the best of beer fest and club and club dread and stuff. I need to start reading for pleasure again. Grad school took all my reading time. Bizarre. I don't blame you. I have been, I have just now started to come back to a certain amount of reading. Like the last two years kind of burnt me out on stuff and I didn't read as much. Uh, graphic novels have really helped my reading in the last few years because I'm, but I honestly, I'm starting to read Dune right now and I love it. <clears throat> Everyone did his making and unboxing playthrough of the game and won't end the live stream until he has completed the game. Yeah, that's 100%. I have to, I have to make it through all of this. I never watched these movies you referenced. Jesse, you need to get on your shit and watch those. You're messing up. I'm always messing up. I'm a gigantic slasher fan. So glove tried to hit. The, yeah, that's fan. I think if you're a slasher, if you're like a horror movie fan, I don't like horror movies. I kind of wish I liked them because I think that some of them are good. I'm terrible at them, though, because I jump all the time. But 30 Days of Night, oh, man, that one will get you going. That ben Foster was great in that one. 30 Days of Night, so good. Remember when Catan first came out? I don't, but I remember when I first played Catan. Oh, someone said Men in Tight Age much better than Austin Powers. Dude, I love Three Amigos. Best to be honest, Pokemon or Digimon? I would say Pokemon. Digimon felt... D Digimon was like, I know what it was and when it came out and I was alive and that it should have been something I focused on, but Pokemon for me. I would burn my car. It's 24 years old and it's just falling apart. I honestly just got rid of my 1998 Toyota Camry and I have a 2022 Toyota Sienna van now and it feels like a fucking spaceship. It's insane. Uh, but I got it so that I could drive my kids around. Basketball from the guys who created South Park was pretty... Uh, I'll have to check that out. I love South Park. Lebowski thoughts go hard same Devin. I don't eat. Oh, Digimon for shows Pokemon for games. Um, yeah, Graham, I'm with you on that. Like, just you know, uh, I I should have cared about it more. Uh, dude, also reading Dude now, good choice. Thanks, Mister Suitcase. So yeah, you know, I Digimon should have been something that appealed to me. I just didn't focus on it. I focused on Pokemon. Um, Dune, I can't wait to keep on. They put Men in Tights on Netflix. Watch again. I love Mel Brooks films. Yeah, Mel Mel book Mel. Mm, Mel Brooks is just a mess. Um, started doing recently as well. Heard it's good. Need a Jess and Devin commentary for us fans. You know what? Jesse is a hot mess. And I'm excited to see him this week because he's a cool person. Fair enough, sir. You know what, Nick? You're not even talking about Marvel United. If you like Whirl, you should play Framed. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I've heard about Framed. Uh, I think my sister sent me that. 
I'm in a 1998 Oldsmobile 88. Nice. Um, 1998s was a good year for cars, apparently. Uh, but the graphic novel Chronosis by um, Grimm, email me at devinelnorris at gmail.com and tell me about those graphic novels. I, if I break down, this will be a different vlog. Mm -hmm. Basketball is base basketball. Blazing Saddles is the best comedy ever. Can we do a movie commentary for the Patreon? Jesse, I'll do whatever you want me to do. And I mean that physically, sexually, content-wise, whatever you want. Um, I can drive out of the way to pick you up, Jesse. Not much of a detour from St. Louis. Honestly, St. Louis is pretty close because it's also pretty close to Branson. And it, it, Stephen's not too far from me. Allison, you're here. You're here, Allison. Thank you so much for being here. Dune is also my favorite board game at the moment. Uh, Dune Imperium, I'm lo I love that game. Is Root with Justin's here as fun as it looks? Want more with you in it. Ben, thanks so much. I do like Root, um, Jesse, and Shira. So Shira is very much the kind of Root player where she wants to play the faction that she feels very comfortable with. So she feels very comfortable with the Vagabond. And she's starting to feel comfortable with the Lizard Cult. Um, Jesse is one that just like, Jesse wants to play someone that will fuck with you. He wants to play with someone that is chaotic. And he played Lord of the Hundreds in one of the last gameplays. And he, he plays people that mess with you. So, he, yeah, root with the, the two of them is fun. Uh, Jesse and Devin negotiate a car lease. Love you guys. I'm going to bed. But have, hey, Di DiGiorno, it's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. I gave up hope of a new car. Maybe I'll have a grown car when I reach my 50s. Dennis, honestly, I don't blame you. The only reason we bought a new car was because we got our third kid and we just objectively had to. Uh, yeah, Jesse's car might seriously break down. Try to find the old Matt Stone, Trey Park films like Orgasmo. Um, no, good morning. So content is going only fans. Nick, it's going only hams for the hamster content. Orgasmo. Did I say Orgasmo? Oh, 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 no, no. Leisure Lee is referring to the movie Orgasmo. I don't remember saying that. It was, you get bonus. Now touch your tongue to mine. Why? You know, to make it efficient, to make one efficient. I don't actually know that quote quick, so I can't think of it off the top of my head. All about the hamster fans and the quack fans. I need to play Dune Imperium. Thinking of getting it sooner. Czar, Dune Imperium is one of my favorite work placement games, period. If, to me, like, if you start the hobby, or if your base gameplay is Lords of Waterdeep, Scoundrels of Skull, Fort, Expansion, Dune Imperium is, like, the place that you progress to where it's such a good game. Live reaction to my painting. Oh, 100% Jules. 100%. Here, let me open up Facebook. Open it up Facebook. That's a Facebook. That's a messenger. So, okay, Jules messaged me. Holy shit. I'm going to like this. I'm going to heart it. I'm going to say a bad word on Facebook, and I'm going to look at this. Golly, Jules. Jules. Jules, Jules, Jules. Okay, Jules, you and I are going to have to have a conversation. You and I are going to have to have, like, a FaceTime messenger chat or Discord chat or something. I want to know, because you, the way that you approached mini painting is you kind of talked about it in the fashion of you got out of it. You got like burnt out or you got tired of it and you recently came back into it. But, ah, oh, man, Jules, you do some good shit. That's really, really fucking good, Jules. Like your, your painting is really fantastic. Like that's a really, really good mini. Shit, man. Ah. Oh. Wow. You, did, Jules, we needed a chat. I want to know, like, why did you stop? What what finally made you get back into it? I want to know about this, man. Ah, man. Good, good, good goodness. That's good. I, you had, like, you had the fine night, like, you had, like, the ice crack detail on the base of the mini. Like, you obviously, like, you either... You either washed it in blue and then you kind of went over it with the white on the top of the ice. And then you had like that really intricate detail on the shoulder there. Ah, oh, man. 
If you got so to shout out Jules Watson right now, he's part of the Board Game Barbecue. If you don't know them at all, they are an Australian group where they focus on the fact where they say they are board game addicts and not experts. And that's their way of saying that they don't feel or own the fact that they know everything, but they love board games so much that they want to talk about them all the time. And Jules is one of the members of the Board Game Barbecue. So you should 100% listen to the podcast. You should join their Facebook group, which is an immensely positive Facebook group that talks about a bunch of stuff. And also Jules is one of the members and one of the, you know, main people of the podcast, the the community. They do a bunch of board game events now in Australia now that they've grown big enough. But also Jules is jumping back into a profession or a passion or hobby that he has abstained from in the past and he's jumped back into it now which is board game mini painting and he's been doing a bunch of miniature painting and he's so fucking good at it so give him a shout out give him some love go over there and yell about how good he is because he's really really good okay i'm gonna catch back up i'm not i'm never gonna catch back up but sure uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there we go. I just played the thing for the first time, and my god, it's beautiful. Yeah, I appreciate you streaming these hours. It's like 7.30 a.m. Robert, I'm here for you, and only you. Thanks for letting me hang out. I have to go to bed. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Bam, the mighty. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic night. I hope you get some good sleep. Video game for me, New Dawn, bounced off me hard. New Dawn. New Dawn. Not Zero Dawn, because that's Horizon. Zero Dawn. Here's a board game. I don't know what New Dawn is. We also bought a new kid because of the third. Got a three-row SUV a year ago, not considering. So, Steven, the thing that I like is that the Sienna I have is a hybrid, and it gets like 36 miles per gallon, which is amazing. I had to move from the BM3, BMW 3 Series. Man, all of you Finland people in your fancy cars. Katarin, I just want to come visit. I want to come spend the night at your house in Finland. Can I? The man in the back, black, but first sentence of Stephen King's Dark Tower. A good read. Dude, okay, so Stephen King, if we're going to talk board games, books, and what, if we're going to talk about that, you need to read Stephen King's The Stand. It is amazing. Stephen King's The Stand is one of my favorite books that is about the world going bad. No, new car, not a new kid. How do I spell your email? Leisurely emails. Devin. D-E-V-O-N L, the letter L, Norris, N-O-R-R-I-S, at gmail.com. What did I just win? Murph, I don't need, I, if you won something, I don't know if I was involved. <sighs> Arnak or Dune? Um, pretty sure I did the scraggle. Yes, I'm described it. Timestamp, Nick, uh, Marvel United. I vote for Dune. I've never played Arnak. I don't feel like I would. I feel like I'd play it. I'd find it fine. Dune Imperium is my vote. Uh, please tell me you've watched Idiocracy and Office Space. I've watched Office Space. I have watched part of Idiocracy, not the full movie. Um, ben, I imagine I would like Idiocracy, but I've watched Office Space. Office Space, I love. Um, if you name me, if you, if after me, my uh, face again, I'm, I'm going to burn the building down. Same guy from Dodgeball. White primer and some contrast paints. I'm Ubi Doo Banubi. I have the silliest name in the galaxy. Scooby Doo Ubi Doo. You never said any, you never said that about my minis. Oh, wait. I have just realized after a long time that Argus is not Carolyn. It is Nathan. Out of all of this time, Argus 279 is Nathan. Nathan, I'm sorry. I thought you were Carolyn because she was the kind of person who would mess with me like that. But if you're talking about your minis, then you're talking about it's you, Nathan. And I thought your scythe minis that you painted were really cool. Been playing since Civ 3, New Dawn did not feel... Okay, you're talking about civilization. Again. Much love to you. Thanks for the shout-out. Jules, you're awesome. I love you. Uh, PC load letter. <laughs> Board Game Barbecue subscribed. Uh, Robert, fantastic. You should subscribe to Board Game Barbecue. They're awesome. Yes, you will, Devin. Things are slowing down. Uh, Board Game Barbecue based in Brislantis. I don't know what Brislantis is, 
but they, oh, oh, okay. So I know that they work in Melbourne and they work in Brisbane and I think some of them are in Sydney, but Jules is a hundred percent able to answer that better than me. But I know that they do multiple groups and multiple game sessions. I think that Brisbane and Melbourne are the ones that I hear the most, but they might also be in Sydney. The stand ties into the Dark Tower. That's really good to know. I should read the Dark Tower series. We are Australia Wired, Kilinor. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Much in CBR. Oh, th that's so good that you guys are connecting. I'm really, really glad. The stand is COVID on amphetamines. The stand is 100%. Honestly, I now that you mention that, it makes me feel like I should read the stand again because it is so much lab-based disease war. Um, I know that they were supposed to be doing a really good... Um, Series. I thought it Matthew McConaughey. No, Matthew McConaughey was the Dark Tower. That's what that was. It was never the Stand. I wish they had. I wish they did something for the Stand. The Stand deserves like a TV miniseries. Good call on the Stand. The original TV series. Oh, I haven't watched either of those. So thanks, Bordy. I should watch the Stand then. Idiocracy is free on YouTube right now. Email sent. I appreciate that. I'm drunk as hell and I'm struggling. Hey, Leisure League. I'm with you. <coughs> Did you say that, Amber? I can hear you. I can hear you. Unbelievable. It's a Devin live stream. Who's showing up sober? Uh, me, hello, I don't know. Devin, I'm going to have to ask you to come in on Saturday. <laughs> that'd be great. If you could come in on Saturday, that'd be great. I love you, too. Four out of five of six Marvel Unites. Oh, hell, you read the Dark Tower, which is why you'll... Get more Marvel United in life than I ever will. 100% Nick. Bring it to a convention and I'll sign all of it. It makes no sense because I'm not a designer. I'm not a developer. I'm not an illustrator. I did nothing on Marvel United. But if you want me to, if you want me to sign Marvel United, I will. Which is why. <laughs> yep, Melbourne, Brisbane, and Sydney. Game days. Okay. All right. I was right. I'm I'm thankful the, for the fact that I was right. So Jules has verified it. Melbourne, Brisbane, and Sydney. I'm glad COVID is good. There were two TV shows for the shows. I'm pretty sure all Stephen King stories can be linked back to The Dark Tower. Is that Robert Glasscock? Two TV shows for The Stand. Sorry. Oh, happy Memorial Day. Did I actually catch up? Have I actually caught up? Guys, have I actually caught up? Premier League update. What's the news? So Manchester United won, or not Manchester United. God, no, not Manchester United. They had a hard year, even though Cristiano Ronaldo is back. Um, Manchester City won the Premier League because they won their last game. Even though it was kind of the situation where if Liverpool won, but Manchester City did not win, Liverpool would win. But as long as Manchester City won, it didn't matter what Liverpool would do. Manchester City was going to win the title. So Manchester City has won again. And, uh, yeah, um, I think Kevin De Bruyne is one of the best midfielders in the world. I think that um, Gundogan and Bernardo Silva and Jesus, Gabriel Jesus and... Sterling. I think all of them are some of the best forwards in the world. I think that they have an amazing team. Ederson's a pretty good goalie. I think Ederson and Allison from you know Liverpool, I think they're honestly pretty comparable goalies. But Manchester City just has such a stacked team. Liverpool does too. And I mean, Liverpool was the one that went further into the Champions League, even though they just lost yesterday or whatever to Real Madrid. Um, Benzema's a machine, and Vinicius Jr. also is really, really good. But, man, just, yeah, really, really close and contentious and awesome end to the Premier League season. Quite a few teams that did better than I thought they would, and, uh, you know, the few teams, the three teams that are going out of the Premier League, they're going out of the Premier League, and we'll see who comes up from the Championship League. But yeah, absolutely loved this year Premier League football. Arsenal finally did not spend money on people like David Luiz and defenders. They finally spent money where it mattered, and their young team is doing really well. So I'm happy near ha happy for what Arsenal is doing, but also really, really good Premier League season.
Uh, let's see. Aaron said he's heading out. Aaron, I hope you have a really, really good one. Um, oh, I haven't even been eating chips with a fork. I mean, I still got more Doritos here, so I can, I can eat more. I'm caught up. Have I read any Naomi Novik? Um, Nathan, I have not read them. Nathan, you already know how to text or email me, so I'm not going to say it on the stream, but let me know who that is because I don't know. Uh, Leisurely Minis, thanks so much for sending an email. Playing Gloomhaven Digital, listening to me ramble. Mizunga Marine, um, awesome. That's I, I really need to get back into Gloomhaven Digital because it made me really appreciate the game. So I should get back into it. Antonio, how's it going? Yeah, I love talking about the Premier League. It makes me so, so, so happy. You can't be adorable and follow football. That's soccer over there. No, yeah. So, uh, Katarin, um, I know you're in Finland. I lived in England for three and a half years. I love soccer, which is football to everybody else. And I follow the Premier League. It's almost exclusively I follow the Premier League, but I also occasionally watch the Champions League, which means that I see games from La Liga and, you know, the French League as well. So I, I watch as much football internationally as I can. A full day Star Wars Armada tournament? That sounds so cool. Oh man, that sounds so cool. I know that chopsticks are more formal, but my chopsticks are in the other room and I don't feel like going to get them. Why did I live in England for three years? I lived there for three years because my dad worked as a lab manager at Covance. I think it was Covance. It was a pharmaceutical company in England, and we lived in Harrogate for three and a half years-ish because he worked there. So that's why I lived there. I will have to check out 1Q84, which sounds like a strange version of 1984. Jules, do they really have Super Fantasy Brawl on BGA? I've never played it before, but I would I'd be happy to play it. So if they have it on BGA, I'd be happy to play it. I feel like I would have to be too drunk to eat Doritos that way to be able to do it. I think that's fair. You know, it just makes it to where my hands don't get messy. I drop a little bit in. Oh. I dropped a little bit there. Okay, Jules, uh, message me on Facebook and let me know what your BGA account is, and we'll make we'll become friends and we can play. Apparently, half of the people fell asleep. Same here. The English Premier League over the Champions League, especially now that Arsenal have been crawling their gutters. You know, like Katarin, I agree with you. Like Arsenal has been really rough. They've been spending a lot of money where they shouldn't have, and finally they're kind of investing in new young talent, and it's paying dividends, and obviously they're doing so much better. People like Saka and Martinelli are giving them so much more bang for their buck than people like David Luiz ever did. So, And people, you know, they have really good veterans like uh, Xhaka who are doing good in defense, and those veterans are kind of help balancing out the new players. It's going really well. Thanks so much, Jay Yonick. Hey, yeah, Jay Yonick, Jeff, you messaged me and you gave me such nice things for the my, my the graphics of my channel, which I don't know if I emailed last or you emailed last, but we need to we need to talk. Ugh. you watch the NFL too. I think that's fair. If you like football, you like football. I'm not a huge football fan. It's also out of a bowl. Well, I did that out of a bowl because the main thing was like it's out of a bag. And so if it's out of a bag, it doesn't make sense for me to eat it out of the bag. Wind up Bird Chronicle. What's the first thing you would show him? I mean, I'm going to show Jesse the bed so that he can go to sleep because he needs to sleep after he makes it to my house. 
an American football team you like. I don't follow any of the major league soccer teams, so not really. Hey, Czar, I hope you have a good one. hope you get some good rest and some good sleep and awesome. I've had 2666 for like a dozen years, so I'm finished. Grim, I don't even know what that is. Tell me what that is, Grim. I hope you have a wonderful night. Hey, Jeremiah, hope you have a really good one. Get some good sleep. Seems like your mod and troll gave up on the chat. Well, Alex and Jesse are an hour ahead of me, so it's currently 1.07 their time, so I'm assuming that either they're doing work. Alex is going to sleep. Jesse might just be doing other stuff. I have never watched Australian rules football yet. Jules, I, I don't know what that is. Is that actually football or is that like rugby? Like, what is that? I don't know what that is. Tell me about that. That bags make too much noise. Have a good night, Zar. Yeah, Nick, um, thanks for finally mentioning Marvel United. You've been slacking. You've been slacking. Hey! Jason Ghost Hunter, if you're from Sydney, Australia, you should talk to Jules Watson, who's in this chat right now, and he's part of Board Game Barbecue. They have board game meetups and events that happen with board games in Sydney, so you should meet up with him. Jesse loves having you eat on camera. I know, you know, Stephen, he really doesn't like me eating on camera. And I'm much more of a, like, fuck it. I'm going to eat on camera. Hey, Dennis, go to bed. Have a good night. I love you. Guys, I'm caught up, and this feels crazy. It's always, like, two hours in. I get to the point where I finally catch up. Dang it, Je Jesse's still in chat. I thought Jesse would have gotten asleep by now, but I should have known better. I should have known better that Jesse wouldn't be asleep by now. Of course, Jesse's working on thumbnails. Jesse, your thumbnails are just insane. You're so much better at that. Oh, oh, Jeff, I'm not doing better at chat. I gave up on doing it, catching up, and I just went to straight to live. That's what's happening. I had some mocha ice cream with cookie dough, an Oreo cookie swirls, and whipped cream. That's pretty impressive, Grim. That sounds like a really sweet dessert. Jesse does not know how to sleep properly. I can verify that 100%. Um, Jesse's actually played the RuneScape Kickstarter game, so you could ask him. I haven't played it. I played RuneScape when I was a lot younger. Ooh, Journey to the Savage Planet is supposed to be really good. I hope Journey to the Savage Planet is a lot of fun. Leisure, I hope it's more fun than listening to me. Jason, you know what? I hope that I get to 4,000 watch hours as well. It's a light. That's interesting to know, Jesse. Good to know. Double Dunker. What an ice cream name. What an ice cream name that is. Hey, hey, Rob, if you're in Arkansas, you're also at 12, 11 a.m. I hope you sleep well, too, in Paragold. The last board game I bought was Bus, which is right there. It's that yellow one on top of Nita Valir. The last one I bought is Bus. What's your favorite deluxe all-in crazy overboard board game purchase you made and which you wish you'd done? 
my overboard board game purchase is probably the like acrylic plastic tile order tokens I bought for Forbidden Stars. And it was to replace the cardboard ones that get messed up whenever you use them. And what do I wish I'd done? Honestly, Alex from Board Game Co. has some deluxe tokens for Brass Birmingham. And it makes... it's Those are beautiful components. I have not seen that. They raise more than $15 for mental health facility near them. Well, you know what, Dr. J Game Fan? It sounds like all you can board are better people than me. I haven't raised any money. Hey, morning, Wreck and Ruin. I hope you're having a good time. Just finished two-player Wonderland's War with the Misses. Good fun. How does it play at two-player? I played it at three, and I like it at three. I'm curious how it plays at two. So R.84, let me know how it plays at two. Journey of the Savage Play. Nice, like fun. Kind of linear, though. Planning... Playing this to take a break from Shadow Warrior 3 and the Evil Dead. Those are both heavier games, so I can understand why you're taking a break. None of the news is false. Gundam the Witch from... Uh, SoCal. So, yeah, obviously you guys are two hours behind, so you're just at 10, 12. Jeff, stop bragging about the fact that you're in California, okay? Okay, Jeff? Stop bragging. I'm just kidding. Uh, I love you. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to deal with the spam. I don't really know what to deal with. What's the game you've backed but not yet received that you're waiting for the most? Mine's oh, mine's Oathsworn. Qatar and mine is Oathsworn. I'm I cannot wait till Oathsworn gets to my house. Oh, or Six Siege. It's Oathsworn or Six Siege, which are completely different types of games, but those are the two I care about the most. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those brass metal minis. Jeff from oh, from Burn Cycle. I hope I can get some brass metal mags. Uh, yes, Malik, I, f I found a copy of Bus. I ordered it. I, I, I did an ISO or in search of post on Board Game Exchange, and somebody sent me Bus. How much do you do solo gaming? I do solo gaming more than I thought I would, to be honest. I, because of the amount of games I need to cover, I've been doing solo gaming more and more, and it's been satisfying. <laughs> 99 wood cutting. Are we talking about RuneScape still? We have to be talking about RuneScape right there. Not bad at two. The rule changes make more, more conflict. There's always a rebellion you have to beat. Yeah, but, but, but uh, easy more. You know what? Jesse seems like he's handling stuff, so... I'm going to let him handle it while I go pee. I'm going to go pee. And I know Jesse's like, I prefer the chair. Fuck Jesse. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I don't pee that much. I don't pee that much. I pee a normal amount for how much I drink. I pee a normal amount for how much I drink. I right, Jesse, you bother me. Quick, so I have. hope you have a good night. I did break the seal. I broke the seal so long ago. 
I'm going to pee every five minutes. Every five minutes. Oh, man. You're so mean to me, Jesse. What did I ever do to you? What did I ever do to you, John? I thought better. I thought better, John. Hmm. You should throw a catheter on. If I... Okay, first off, yes, I did wash. And second off, have you ever had a catheter? I've had a catheter because I broke my leg playing men's league soccer. I've had a catheter. It's not fun. It's not something you just throw on. You don't throw on a catheter. It goes into your urethra. And as a man, it's really bad when it goes into there. It burns, and it's horrible. So, no, you don't just throw on a catheter, okay? On coconut water? No, I don't. I should do a top ten soon, Malik. But I don't have any thoughts about coconut water. You know what, Mazungu? Thank you. Thank you. They're just mean. I second that. Just do 100 to 50 games of all time and bring it to a chat to the vote. That would be a mess. Devin, Cloud Spire expansions, especially the Miniature Spires, or Burn Cycle base game. That's tough. I think that if you like Cloud Spire, you should invest in Cloud Spire. If you don't like Cloudspire as much, then Burn Cycle, the base game, makes way more sense. But, like, I have Cloudspire there. I fully intend to go deep into Cloudspire so that I can teach it to Shira and also just get more comfortable with it because I loved it when I played it back in Texas. Ended up not being able to afford Iridia. Iridia, I, I didn't back Iridia at all. I have Zhia because I traded for it with my Black Rose Wars Seder box. What is my favorite game of all time? That's difficult. I mean, I, I talk a lot about for Forbidden Stars, but there's so many games that are good out there. Some people like it, Grim. I like you, Grim. I like you. Oh, catheter, 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 catheter. Is Howard Dean showing up? Burn Cycle. They call it sounding. Board game content and catheter stream. Jesus is almost as Marvel. Yeah, Nick. Marvel United. I knew that Ju I knew that Jules would be a Cloud Spire fan. I think that he's a hundred percent going to pick that. But Jules also does a lot of solo gaming. So if you like solo gaming, go with his opinion and my opinion and invest in Cloud Spire. But it really, really does. I think that Cloud Spire is the best game that Chip Theory Games has come out with. I really do. But it's the one that you need the most amount of investment in, and I think that most people won't ever experience Cloud Spire. But I think it's their best. Uh, R dot. You said Cloud Spire is so good. I agree with you. I just late pledge Rolling Heights and another tab, Jesse. Jesse's good about making people spend money. Will I ever come to the UK? UK GE. You know, Wreck and Ruin, I have seen so many comments about the UK Games Expo. I would love to go to it. London is my favorite city in the world, and I love the UK. It has a dear space in my heart from when I, you know, growing up. I would love to go to the UK GE at some point. Done all of Cloudspire solo base grain plus Greed expansion. Yeah. No, J Jules is like, he's he's downright focused on Cloudspire. So if you, the vast majority of Chip Theory games, if you want to focus on their fans, the, the majority of them appreciate Too Many Bones. There's a minority of them that like Cloudspire. And then there's a smattering of people that will like Hopmaka's Victorum or Burn Cycle. But... If you go down to the intensity with which each people like stuff, a large group of people really, really like too many bones. But they like too many bones on a, like, not surface level, but on a, a level in which they play it, but it's not their favorite game. 
Cloudspire is 100%. When people talk about Cloudspire, the fans for that game are the deepest fans of chip theory games. I honestly believe that. They're the deepest fans. And I think that out of the game, you know, I have Burn Cycle, I have Too Many Bones, I have Cloudspire. Out of all of the ones I've experienced, Cloudspire was the one that I really feel like is deep and rewarding and so in intricate on a level that the others aren't. But it's it's so specific to the people that play it. Cloudspire is the hardest of all the chip theory games. It really is. But it's the one that you will be the happiest with if you really invest in it. Okay, let's keep going. We need a top 10 whiskey and bourbon. I don't drink enough whiskey and bourbon to do a top 10. Jesse might. I'm just going to drink. Burn cycle base good enough on its own, or should I get the extras like the brass minis to start? Kelsey, I wouldn't actually recommend the brass minis. If you get anything other than burn cycle base game, I'd get the specialists add-on, which is bots that are really, really cool. Gia equals Zia. Zia. Okay, I think that's fair, Bahasa. Zia. I'll say that from now on. So glad we could share him with the community. Grab the minis before they spin. Really? You, Jesse, you think the minis are that good? Um, Jules, I don't know which assessment on Cloudspire I did that you agree with, but I appreciate you. Another video writing on dry erase board behind Alex. If Alex will let me write on a dry erase board, I will. I'm way more confident than I was when I first did that. Cloud Cloudspire versus Uprising Go. R dot. They're so different. So different. Cloudspire, I would do either solo or at two player, and Uprising, I would do confidently between two and four players because they're so good. Oregon State, what's up? What Grail game do you, are you looking to add to your collection? Malik, I don't honestly know. Grail game, that's tough. I got Space Hulk, Death Angel, and I feel really good about it. And I also got Bus. Grail game, I'm not super certain. Uh, you were worried that the other expansions might not add as much, and Burn Cycle does look sweet. I don't know about the faction expansions for Cloudspire. Jules could speak more to that. I want to do a 24-hour live stream. Uh, Jesse, let's do it after Origins, the week of Origins. 100%, let's do it after the week of Origins. Hmm... Have experience with mod. I don't. I'm doing top ten bourbon soon. No, Brad. He really. I the brass minis are amazing, but if you're looking for gameplay content, not necessarily the same thing. Uh, yeah. If we don't drink, we could last twenty four hours. If we drink, it's uh, it's we're gonna nap on stream. You mentioned some sci fi and fantasy stuff. You like? Do you like no? St oh, hundreds of Stargate. My favorite, so I wasn't as much like Stargate SG-1 wasn't my thing, but Stargate Atlantis. Stargate Atlantis was something that me and my family were really far behind. Um, Quackalup, do you have Blanton's single barrel in your collection? So, hey, Kyron, Paul, I have three bottles of Blanton's at my house. I have finished one of them. I am on the second one, and I've got a third that I haven't even touched yet. So I do like Blanton's. I mean, Chip Theory is known for their deluxeness. I cannot smile while playing with all the neoprene. Kelsey, they do have a lot of deluxeness for sure, but the brass minis are probably the top-notch thing they've ever created for deluxe value. You need to late night your stuff with this chaotic main. Um, before anything else, I won't nap. No, wait. Jesse, you should go to sleep. I prefer copper minis. They've got that color change. You're a mess, Grim. You're absolutely a mess. Just stagger the pre breaks and say, Brass minis is, I'm sold. Honestly, though, I mean, the brass minis are amazing. They're some of the best minis I've ever seen in the game, but I don't know if I'd pick them first over the specialist's expansion. Trying to get out of the studio after major unboxing. That makes me happy. Blanton's rules. Blanton's, ha Blanton's is awesome, Kyron, 100%. Oh, oh, Oregon. Burn cycle is easier to teach than too many bones. 
Burn Cycle is the most accessible out of all of their games. The rules books, the rule books 100% do that. Um, Jay Saint, I'm going to drop down a few comments, but I have not been able to play Foundations of Rome. I know that Alex really likes it a lot. I don't know if Jesse's played yet, but Jesse and Shira have the copy now. I have not watched Farscape. I'll be on. Yeah, yeah. Brass Minis for only $75. Jeff, 100%, I'm with you. If they send me the Brass Minis, sure. They're amazing. I really do think they're amazing, but they're expensive. And I would rather have gameplay content rather than physical content. They just got the vibe of a Stargate fan. <laughs> Love it, Lance. Oh, I, I honestly, Jack, Lalian, Lalian, I yeah, no, I Stargate has not had a board game, but I Stargate Atlantis is, oh, so good. Rake is the best. I'm ignoring the, oh, Rake of Vodka. Have I talked about Reka on this stream? I talked about Reka on the last stream. I don't think I talked about them on this stream. I'm not even drinking them right now. I'm drinking Elijah Craig bourbon. Stranded on an island with three other people. Only five games. What are they? Five games for four people. Dice Throne. Forbidden Stars. Crokinole. Mind management. Maybe Dwellings of Eldervale or Land versus Sea. Maybe that's my last one. Miniature markets and persons without context. Tell me a game to look to buy. Drew, Drew Head, you should buy Land vs. Sea, or you should buy Everdale, or you should buy. Scythe. The two latest fashion of Cosplay are really different than the rest. The Uprising adds heaps more cheaps to the market. Oh, wait, you're talking about Uprising. You're not talking about... You're not talking about the Uprising, though. I'm thinking about Uprising the board game, Jules. Jules, what are you talking about? Is Uprising part of the new stuff for Cloudspire, and I just don't know what I'm talking about? How about reviewing GIP game? Definitely plays Devon. What is GIPF? I don't even know what that is. Um, I'm I think I'm sold. The burn cycle will be attacking my bank account. Oregon, I hope you enjoy it. If you if you buy it, what's your favorite salty snack? Snack. I'm getting hungry after my fourth Manhattan. Salty, just uh, regular old pretzels, either sticks or regular pretzel shapes. Uh, yes, Stargate, in terms of like an unsettled board game, I could totally see that. If I only got to buy one game, what would you recommend to me? Uh, Crokinole. If you're playing with other people, at least. If you're not playing with other people, a solo game, which I would either recommend maybe Space Hulk, Death Angel, or maybe a solo game. Oh, that's tough. Both seasons of Dice are in my cart right now, but it's a game I knew very little about. I'm not sure to hit the trick or not. Kyron, if you play with at least one other person... Dice Throne is an amazing two-player game. It's really, really good at two-player. It's pretty darn good at four, but that's tougher sell. If, if it's good at two-player, Chiron, do Dice Throne. Good list, I approve. Doritos, no forks, still eating them. The Doritos are gone. The bowl, I, the bowl's over there. I finished with the Doritos. Oh, the, the, the miniatures are not needed. The miniatures are not needed. Um, I think Jules would agree. Get content over the deluxe components. The miniatures are not needed. I'm just going to pretend their ship is a star. If I snag a copy of Beast, if it comes to retail since my bank account refuses, I could do a credit card. Just seems a bit much. I think that's fair. Uh, hidden movement games, mind management's awesome, but I know that Alex and Jesse both like Beast. The giveaway winners were announced a while ago. It was May Quatch for the U.S. and Vero M for the non-U.S. 
Uh, Jeff, I, I like Dice Throne a lot as a two-player game. I think it's very satisfying to jump into the experience. Um, I don't know how many people I would vote it for. It's it's the kind of game that you really have to like that style of game. A little bit of strategy with the powers you upgrade and a little bit of luck with the dice that you get. You know, it's it's hit or miss for people. Scythe was an awesome gateway game. I think Scythe is fantastic. I still have it. I need to play the Rise of Fenris campaign. Technically waiting for the Everdell Ultimate Collection. 100% Drew. Hope you enjoy it when it comes. Yeah, I'd get Greaser Uprising. Yeah, so Jules is going to be my go-to person to tell you to talk to when it comes to Cloudspire because he's invested more time than I have, even though I really wish I could do more Cloudspire time. He knows more than me. Yeah, no, I mean, Scythe is a game that you could easily dump a lot of money into. Yeah, I don't think my wife has the moldy raspberries anymore. I think she's gotten rid of them. Crokinole is so good. I don't even know if it's underappreciated. I just think that it's an amazing game that's expensive to get, so not as many people have them. Uh, mind management is so good. At two-player, exceptional three or four player, you know, you're splitting up how many people are functioning with the agents. Mind management's amazing. What games got me into board games? I've played games growing up for a long time. Man Munchkin was one that my family did at, at Thanksgiving a lot. And then personally for me, Coup, Settlers of Catan, Pandemic, Scythe, all of those kind of got me into the hobby. Uh, I don't know if Everdell full collection is coming to retail or not. Um, Paul, hey, hope you have a good night. Hope you enjoy it. Um, uh, yeah, you know what? It was not the best Marvel United stream ever, Nick, but I hope you have a good night, and I hope to see you at your origins. I'll be there with the Lucky Duck booth. Uh, da, 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 da. If Grant, if mine was based on Grant Morrison's Invisibles, you know, um, yeah. I think that'd be cool. Um, Grim, that would be something interesting to see for sure. I think the Beast does more for quite a few people who like Hidden Movement. Heading out, have a good night. Hey, John, hope you have a good one. Still around, just drawing. These thumbnails take like 30 minutes each. Jesse, you must be doing a lot of thumbnails. Game of Life got me into gaming. Yeah, Life was a, you know, I played M Monopoly and, and Life and all that stuff. Don't remember to play it. I'm so glad that you found hobby game. I wanted to try mind management, but then Beast, that I think that's title theme was more my style. It's as close as good as image. I don't know. I haven't played Beast. I know that Alex and Jesse have both played it, but I haven't played it. So hope it's good. I've caught up, guys. I've fully caught up. It's 1230 my time, and I've caught up. Jules, have I done a good job evangelizing for you in the Australian board game community? I hope I have, Jules. I have not played Detective City of Angels. Um, I've heard really, really good things about that. Van Ryder Games is killer. They did so well with Final Girl, but I haven't done that. Munchkin Cthulhu years and years ago, but it didn't really tilt me in until I saw Scythe on Kotaku. Kotaku is, curiously enough, like a really good blend between both the video game community and the board game community. They really don't have a lot of board game writers, though. Sorry, I missed that. What did you say? I was asking Jules if I have done a good enough job of, like, being a promoter of what you're doing over there in Australia. I, would, I just want to know. I'm trying to be helpful. Jeff, I should 100% drink more so that I don't catch up. It's like several levels above Taylor Kadad. Nathan, I love you so much. And I'm not even going to talk shit anymore. I just, I love you a lot, Nathan. You IP you love, you want to see in a board game in what style? I would love to see Bloodborne. Oh, I guess they've already done Bloodborne multiple times. Because I have the, I have both of those. And IP, I love, ooh, Uncharted. 
or Last of Us. Either Last of Us or Uncharted. Naughty Dog video games. I would love to see as board games. Did Amber ever take a look at Jesse's nipple? She hasn't yet, but when he comes this weekend, she'll look at his nipples. Um, not sure if Quack can go, but, uh, Earl, but the response would be, Hey, Mazunga Marine, I love you very much. Thank you for being so careful. And, you know, yeah, yeah, awesome. I love you too. Absolutely. Every mention else. Jules, you're awesome. I, I really do care for you and Adrian, all that community over in Australia. I want to one day meet up with you in person. Uh, talk to, but they at least did some Switch titles. I feel like it's also, yeah. Uh huh. Oh, man. Weeda. Weeda. I haven't heard a connection to them since. You know, talking about Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. That's awesome. Uh, da, 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 da. Final Girl looks like a cool solo experience, but do not dig the theme at all. I, I think that's fair. I'm not a huge horror fan. I think I want to be a horror fan, but I really, really do like Final Girl. So, good talk. Have a good night. Keep up good effort. Enjoy your content. Hey, R.84. Hope you have a good one. Seriously, have a, have a good night. If you come to Australia, Look for drop bears and tire snakes. Yeah, I know that drop bears are a thing because Matthew Aslan has got his rat catcher game and he's doing drop bears. So I know that drop bears is totally real. Um, Jesse's nipple. Richard is just joining the chat. Richard, I haven't seen you this whole time, so I know you're just joining. But yeah, Jesse, uh, he talked about it in our four-hour top YouTubers video, so you should watch that. Was no... Uh, I really so Kelsey, I have chit, I have Mech versus Minions right there, and I really really want to play it. So I hope it holds up. What's the next game to hit the table for me? I would love to jump into Cloud Spire. It's one that I want to jump back into so that I can also teach Shira when I go up to visit in June. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bioshock. That would be a good video game, or that would be a good board game too. But Last of Us and Uncharted fan of co-op games. I'm not actually a huge fan of co-op games. I much more prefer competitive games. I have a really hard time playing. Once you, uh, yeah, I think, Jeff, that's a fair point. Like, you want something that does something different than other stuff. Silent Hills games, that would be pretty cool. Ice Cool Iron Four style game with the Smash Bros. Oh, Smash Bros. A board game that has, like, Nintendo Smash Bros. IP, that would be awesome. Four all video was a hoot. They really enjoyed the banter. I really, really, that was my favorite video I've ever done with Jesse was the four hour drunk YouTuber video. Can a freckle be bad? I thought it was moles you need to watch out for. Richard, I know that I've upset you because I've gotten rid of some games that you love, but just know, Richard, you're one of my favorites. You holding the glass against your head so you don't pee. I don't know why I'm holding it. It's, it's like nice and cold against my head. Final Girl, I think it's good for me because it's got the aesthetic of horror without the fear. Jump scares is what gets me. Jump scares, I do not know how to handle. Bioshock Kickstarter canceled. Did they have one? I didn't even know that they had one. Live, live play Mex vs. Minions with Quackalope. Want to crush my hopes now or later? Um, I don't. So Jesse doesn't have that game. It would have to be with me, but... He's coming to help me set up the studio. I don't know if he has enough equipment to really set up a full live play gameplay. Earth Defense Force game. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. Jesse's soul. Of course Jesse's soul. Jesse doesn't even know what he's talking about. He's like, I want to do that, but I don't know how to do it. Jesse, you're a mess. You're a mess, Jesse. Guys, I've caught up. I've officially caught up. 57 concurrent viewers. Almost twice as many likes. Guys, we're killing it. We're killing it. We're killing it. Tell us about the tattoos you may want to get. Oh, Nathan, I definitely want to get tattoos. So Amber is not, she wants it much more like on my chest, but I'm not as physically happy with how my body looks right now to want them on my chest. I want them on my arms. So... If we're talking about uh, if we're talking about tattoos, I want to get two. I want to get a couple of tattoos on my arm. I want to get, um, I want to get so on like my left arm where my heart is. I want to get veritas et amor, so truth and love in Latin. 
and I want that to be my quote for Amber. And then over here, I want to get, um, where is it? It's Tamendi causa est nisira, which means ignorance is the uh, cause of uh, fear. Ignorance is the cause of fear. So I want truth and love for my wife, and I want ignorance is the cause of fear for me. And I want those to be my two tattoos that I get on my arms. And then over my heart, even though I'm not happy about how my chest and stomach look right now, I want to get my wife's uh, like doctor signature over my heart. I think that would be really cool. Boop, 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 boop. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. I haven't talked about Marvel United because Nick hasn't mentioned it anymore. So, Ben, that's Nick's fault. Video games like old school B-Mover monster movies. Oh, talking about video games that do horror. Um, Until Dawn. Such a good video game. What solo game should I buy next? Already love Under Falling Skies Friday Mulch. It's too many to be. Solo game, you should do Cloud Spire. You should do Cloud Spire. Or you should do Space Hulk Death Angel by Forbidden or by like FFG. But Space Hulk Death Angel might be pretty hard to get a hold of. So unless you get a used copy, which you totally could, but Cloud Spire otherwise. Slap someone. Just for you. Not like the Wheel of Time, but cool. Hey, Nathan. Not like the Wheel of Time, but I would love to do that stuff for me and Amber. Just saw the short, Mr. Scranwan. How are you doing? Glad you're here. Talking tattoos, it seems. My husband for both me and her family. Her name translates to her name translates to waves, so we have waves. That's awesome. I love that. You are in Finland, and I want to visit you. Jesse ruined his face with a strong left. Jesse smacked the shit out of me on that four-hour video. 100%. Do you have a video out there for your favorite party games? I don't, Jorge. I don't have a video for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What do you guys have for me? I'm caught up. Bob book series done as a board game as well. I don't even know what that is. Don't even know what that is. Letter Jam. I've heard good things about that. I haven't played that one. Man, is this what it's like to be caught up on comments? You're like, you guys aren't even commenting fast enough. This is really cool. Hey, Allison, I want to go to Finland. Do you want to come with? Me and Amber would have a great time having some friends. I, do, I, I want to come to Finland. I really do. How many board games have you written for? Oh, only like... If you're talking about lore, just failed fate. If you're talking about the Kickstarter videos, like four or five more. But I don't know if that even really constitutes what you're saying. Try to find 10 today, but cannot find locally. Thanks for the entertainment while I worked. Appreciate you see. Jules, hey, have a fantastic morning, afternoon in Australia. Love you, man, and hope you have a good one. Hey, Kilinor, hope you have a good one. I think I'm about to phase out as well. It's been like two and a half hours. I'm kind of there. I'm kind of there. I want you guys to... I want you to go mess with Jesse. I want you to do things that make Jesse's night harder to fall asleep. I want you to go to his videos. And I want you to comment squeak. Or I want you to comment poo poo poo. Poo 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 poo. Poo 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 poo. And yeah, that's what I want. I want you to either comment squeak or poo 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 poo. Squeak or poo 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 all over his videos. Go to Jesse's videos and comment squeak or poo 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 all over them. Kelsey, so much. Thank you so much. You know what, Jesse? I don't even like you. I mean, I like you. I love you. But yeah, I fade at two hours. I think that's fair. So I'm going to say good night, good night.